collectibles. I am uh, Takahata101, and I'm joined by all these wonderful people. Starting off with Bosco. Hi, Bosco. Well, you said uh, wonderful people. Why would you say Bosco? Oh, the salt begins early tonight. He's That's not here. It, it's it's that trying to hate I'm man. I told to you. Speak, but then Monty decided it was time to roast me, so that's fair. <laughs> M Bosco, I told you, it's, the, it's it's us being living in the tri-state area. It's it's a curse, man. Um, hey, Bosco, could you do me a favor and do intros today for me? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Monty, where can they find your sarcastic ass? Oh, well, they can find her right here, roasting yours. Oh. That's not an answer to the question that I asked you. Where can they actually find That's you? kind of you, one. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Streams are going to get kind of weird because I, similar to my brother, definitely feel a cold coming on. For context, in the wonderful land of British Columbia, mm. we've had a cold snap for like the past week and a half. It's affected talking... all of, it, it, we are nine hours apart and the cold snap has affected both of us. Yeah, so it's been like nine minus forty for generally like with wind chill minus forty, <laughs> um, and then out of nowhere it decided to be minus three, which is a huge jump. That's Celsius. Celsius, by the way. Yeah, yeah minus so, forty is fucking cold. For those who don't yeah, know, uh, for those who don't know, zero is freezing. Yeah, so it's like just slightly yes, below freezing now. And uh, so yeah, there it's our bodies are like <laughs> fuck. So uh, <laughs> things are going to get kind of weird and stiffly. And I've had nosebleeds, like, mad. Like, I've uh, been nosebleeding terribly. Oh, God, it's been for – get this, Nadine. My uh -huh. cold meds that I've been taking, you know how cold meds have a side effect of giving you a rash? Well, guess what? It's on my face this time. Yay! 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 Breathing is agony. No, oh, especially because well, of the corner of my – there's some moisture in the air now. <laughs> but my nose is like – my nose is like too much. Hey guys, can I make a serious suggestion? Wear surgeons masks. Not only does it keep your germs in, but it will also recycle your heat and moisture and keep your throat and sinuses like Ooh. better. Gaijin, Gaijin, I love you. Kirk could probably find that, not me. No, I'm no, 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 no shit. No, no, find a surgical no, no, mask? no, no shit. And I mean this honestly, Goomba, it's hilarious. I have already talked to my neighbors. I am getting surgical masks from now on because this cold Fuck this cold. This cold was yeah. fucking stupid. Last cold yeah. made sense. This cold, I went into the doctor's office to get re up for meds, and that's how I caught this fucking cold. I am getting my goddamn paranoia masks, okay? Especially because now, because of all those other fun diseases out there. Sorry. <sighs> no, it's they're they're almost impossible to find. I can't believe here. Curtis got himself the typhoid. I cannot Drake, believe. Just like you, I can't wait for Draker to be like, no, we actually have surgical masks like five minutes from your house, and I'll be like, what? Fuck! <laughs> now, she likes to do that now. Bosco, continue on. Sorry, Bosco. Uh, well, Connor, where can they find you? Oh, they can find me on Twitter. I've seen else thing. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where Tuesday's Ring Fit Adventure didn't do it uh, this week because there are no lights in my room, oh. which is bad, and I don't want to do exercising in the dark, <laughs> so I, I sort of just did something else. Uh... Thursday, uh, I believe we are playing Monster Hunter tomorrow. Cool. Uh, Friday, this is going to be Friday Funhouse, where we uh, play a lot of tabletop games and uh, play some party games like Jackbox Party Pack, Tabletop Simulator, and uh, Gang Beast. <gasps> Riot. Oh, Connor, that reminds me. You have to tell me about the ball tasting later. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> all these people. Hmm. That's My fine. ears are burning. I see. I'll let, I'll uh, let that linger in the air for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Okay. Big Andrews. Fuck! Uh, Draco just messaged me. Yes, I've gotten masks before for the pharmacy. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, God hey. God hey, damn it, Draco. Hey, hey, uh, Connor, we're fast getting some, uh, we're getting some notes about how you're coming in very quiet. Did you change your position yeah. at all? No. Really? Yeah. He's been quiet for me. I think it was a Discord up up update. Honestly, I Damn just it. hold on. I just bump his volume. I think on we Discord. need to surgically. I think we need to surgically insert a microphone into his throat so we can hear him. I think this oh, is yes. that's fucking mm -hmm. Metal Gear oh, Solid yeah. shit. Yeah, no, what's wrong with that? He likes Metal Gear Solid. Is any better? A bit better. Yeah. Bump him up, Kurt. Okay. Just go on Discord and just bump up his volume. Honestly, that's bump the best me. thing to do. <laughs> bump him. That's what I've Bump had to him do. So his ball taste can be bumped as well. Stop saying that. 
I, Connor, never explain it. I just want this to linger. Yeah, forever. no, don't, no, don't ever All explain right. it. Sure. No one will. Uh, 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 no one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as you're thinking, but it's close. Probably not, but at the same time, I'm staring at the camera like I'm on the office right now. Just... Anyway, uh, Saturday. Uh, uh, since I finished up The Witcher, uh, I did a poll to see what I should play next and currently in the lead with not very many votes is Devil May Cry Fallout is trailing uh, behind with by five votes so if you <laughs> get in there and decide what I should play next uh, and Sunday is D&D &D Homebrew yeah. uh, that's me I guess I will go next uh yeah is connor if connor's done go ahead zito yep hi you can find me over at twitch.tv slash zito there haven't been any streams as of late because uh i just came back from pax south the first pax that broke the fucking pax curse so i have stories to tell but i have work to do over at tfs so probably the next stream i'll be able to get back on is friday where you will find me playing a shitload of indie games telling pack stories telling you how i met uh jeremy crawford and almost shit my pants uh why is that name familiar to me i'm bad the with guy me. who runs 5e that's right there it is <laughs> sorry <laughs> no it's fine <clears throat> uh you can also uh find me making more D, &D homebrew over on uh the ever ingot almanac which is my patreon uh we are currently uh we are currently balls deep I look over at Monty. Balls deep into making <laughs> <laughs> into making uh, Displacer Beasts a playable race. Uh, I already have a play test on that, but the only way for you to try it out is to join the Patreon. So check it out. Do it. Oh man, this roll in there for shits and giggles. This roll twenty update messed with my settings. I have to change everything here. Oh yeah, they changed the zoom feature. Yeah, no, but... that's that's better. It's fine. I realize it's updated. Mm. I sw I shrunk all of their icons because they all weren't fitting at the size we had them on screen, and it was throwing everybody off. There are a lot of bit drops. Uh, FYI, everybody, we see your bit drops. I'm gonna try and call them out the best I can. Apologies, still feeling a little bit under the weather. Who did we just wrap up with? Uh, we Me. just wrapped up with Zito, and I was going to move on to Gaijin. Where can they find Mr. Goomba? Uh, you guys can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, I actually have a regularly set schedule now. Feels good. Uh, every Monday, Mecha Monday, we're playing a mech game of sorts. Everything from uh, the Mech Warrior series to, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, hardcore Mecha. Crazy indie game. Amazing, by the way. I want to continue that one. Uh, Saturday and Sunday is probably just going to be more Monster Hunter because I hit master rank 69 and a whole bunch of crap opened up nice. uh do, 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 do. uh tuesday taco tuesday it's been a good time people have been loving the japes and the punishment songs for some reason uh however you can also find my real content over on youtube just look for my name i'm sure you'll find me uh just got done talking about the xeno gray which is actually is an ogre there's a story behind that but uh no people seem to really like it i am still doing my culture and gaming culture and anime all that good stuff all my japan stuff so be sure to check it out very nice and uh, i'm just going to do this for kurt since he's sick i'm going to save him the effort uh tomorrow mnw is going to be postponed but don't worry guys while taka recovers i'm going to at least do a house show or something for you guys so i got his back no worries about that and uh he will keep you posted as to when and where the rest of his streams will continue but please uh be kind and be courteous he busts his ass for you guys and we are forcing him to take a break so he will keep you posted via Twitter. You and, jumped, uh, where Bosco came into this conversation doctor? and said, you're not doing a show tomorrow, which I was like, oh, yeah, yeah basically. Literally. Yes, sir. <laughs> he was I, like, I, I, I need to talk to you about I, my I, show tomorrow. I, I'm like, you're not doing a show tomorrow. I, I, Everybody I, I, expects I, I, you to cancel. Felt, for just do it. Days, I'm just like, do you feel good? Are you feeling better? And you're like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm like, no, do you feel fine? You're like, I'll be good. And I'm just I, like, I, I and then you showed up and you're sniffling. I'm like, fuck. When I came into the call, I put my hand on my chest. When Bosk said, I put my hand on my chest. I'm like, okay, sir, fine. I won't do a show tomorrow. I'm not like, I need, that's a good, that's a good friend right there. That's, that's what a good friend is right there. I try, like, man. I'm, hey, I'm a hey, jerk, but hey. I'm a good jerk. No, 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 no. A friend is what, someone who needs, who's there when they need to be. And, that's, yeah. uh, and you guys know where you can find me over at uh, twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco and on Twitter and Instagram at Ed Bosco VA. Real quick, I'll just let you guys know that on Friday, there's a big pay-per-view for MNW Breakdown. It's all of the Flashbang rookies uh, going absolutely crazy. We've got a world title match. We've got a tag team title match. We've got a uh, 
career match. Dark Lord Prinny's career is on the line against Johan, who won that eight-man battle royal. And, of course, we've got our uh, call-up match. Uh, who's going to be in it? We don't know. Also, Fate and the Empire are going absolutely ballistic. There will be two different tag matches to let them battle it out. Malice takes on Zach DeWeaver in an Extreme Rules match. And MNW is going to have a ladder match for the first time in forever. The Creation and the Bulldog Grant Martin. So good luck to both of you guys. Tune in on Friday. Also, if you guys like the new Pokemon short that just came out, you should check it out if you haven't because I'm in it. I'm not going to tell like you who. You'll have to figure that out. But I definitely like check it out. It's a really cool mood. short, huh? That was what? definitely pointed out in the comments. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say it. If they figure it out, that's on them. I'm not going to say it either, but I like the part where you mood. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, there are a lot of people uh, who have gifted subs who have, are dropping. Oh, my Lord. Another one. Lord Phantasma with the 10,000 bits plus another 2,000. So that would be 12, 12 if my thousand. math is good. I've wanted thousand. to do this for a while now. I love the series, and it's inspired me to make my world uh, to make. It inspired me to make my you world. My own world. Thank you guys for all the laughs and moments. Well, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being dyslexic. That is. Lord that is no, no, some, some, uh, some, sometimes people accidentally, I think, type the wrong word, so I can usually, you know. Yeah, Lord yeah, Fantasma, yeah, yeah. thank you for the 12,000 bits, though. My God. Uh, the Tobs dropping 10 subs uh, to, uh, on the community as well. The Tobs, thank you so much. Vin Smoke, Poke Freak, School J, Hug Lords, thank you so much. Lord Phantasma, again. 12,000 bits. That is incredible. Equinox, Xandros, thank you as well. Blackfoot Ferret with Elite Bits. Magic Get, well, thank you very, very much. Jfrost, 747, 10,000 bits. Hey, everyone. Hope you're all doing great. Finally got to drop bits for the first time. Snaps out for Jfrost, guys. Also, Monty Also, just to... Oh, sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but just real quick. Uh, just for a heads up, even if Kurt is sick, there, I assume there will still be an art stream. Connor yeah. uh, will be handling it. And uh, if he needs backup, I will try to be there as well. Mm. So. I hopefully I be I've been sleeping every day. I'm feeling way better. Like I mean this honestly, I am feeling much better than I was on Monday. I'm still fighting off though. I can tell. Jay Frost. Cool. Also, Masumi the robot. Thank you for those uh, five tier one subs gifted to the community. Good uh, looking out, Masumi. I see you. I yeah. see you. Uh, Wish your partner tag luck. Jfrost747 also said. Also, money. When will we be getting Ty Borbington's new show, Feast or Flounder, on on Scrub Hub? On Scryhub. Sorry. Scryhub? Yeah, Scryhub. <laughs> Scryhub. Yep. It's, uh, a, it's a new streaming service. I mean, I mean, uh, Ty Borpington's, like, requirements are so crazy. He's really hard. He's kind of a diva. What is the Hell's Kitchen equivalent? Uh, nine, yes. nine layers cake layers cooking. Uh, Fuck yeah. He's a what? bit of a diva, huh? All right, settle down, second place. What would Iron Chef would be like? You had literally it. Literally, what it is. The guy would you be killing. You literally, had, you were the judge of it. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people. Right. I still need to get through a lot of people here, real fast. Um. All right. Keep uh, going. Rodrigo Boss. BD, Nine or Neniel, and or the insane Mad Monk Montague. Uh, there's a lot of subs. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to all of them, guys, before we have to get started here. Yeah. Uh, save some of your subs and your bit drops for the break, and I'll make sure I get them read out. Three cold <laughs> Go easy one on coat. Kurt. Five thousand bits from three kobolds, one coat. What a nice coat it must be. Thank you for the five thousand bits. Three kobolds, one coat, and has eighty-two ten thousand bits. Mwahahahaha! Finally, mm -hmm. I've been trying to catch up to you, unexpectables, for a long time. Now that I have finally caught up, I want to give you my first ever bit drop. For making me love D and D and introducing me to Critical Role. Always remember, no. though, you guys came first before Critical Role for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Wow. I mean, to be fair, it's not a contest. I feel like they're very different shows, but I'm glad that you are able to enjoy them both. There are. But on the upside, take that, Matt. Yeah. Hey, be yeah, Matt. No, 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 uh, no, no. Who's Baby Mercer now, me? Matt? I, I, guys, I see I, you. I would have sent him a DM. The last time I sent him a DM, I congratulated him on the success of his Kickstarter. But this time, I'm going to tweet him like, so he can look, ignore me. Look what Hass82 said about us. F you, Matt. F your couch. <laughs> like Matt, though. Like, I... F your couch. F your couch. F your couch. Yeah, screw you for being such a nice crown, person. Matthew. How dare you? Sword fanatic with five. I remember back when I was drinking, the first time I ever met Matt, we were drinking at a small gaming gaming bar. We were drinking mead out of dragon goblets. It was the weirdest thing oh, before. Oh, and, it's, and it's before Critical Role was even a thing. I think he was just starting his Pathfinder campaign at that point. 
when I first met him huh. at that point, which was nuts. Uh, Sword Fanatic, 5,500 bits. You guys are cool. Best of luck, everybody. 5,500 bits from Sword Fanatic. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Terra Chris Den, thank you for the bits. Console Button, thank you for the bits. Lucky uh, Dog Chris with the 1,000 bits. Love the show. Listen to every episode at least twice. Keep up the great work. Well, Lucky Dog Chris, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Skelly Jack, Zane, thank you as much. Raleigh Bob, Pyrotherian, thank you. Pyrotherian with the 2,000 bits. I was not disappointed with the art wave this week. <laughs> Pyrotherian, thank you. Blue Clock, Tiny Behemoth, Spock, Zombie, Lovely... Uh, Lady Loveless, Derpy Doogie, Bad Biff, 666, Haunch Paunch, Nerdy Notion Z with a thousand bits. Ore, Ore Sanjo. Ore Sanjo. I don't know what that means, but thank you for the thousand bits. Shivering Wolf 99, thank you. Zen Ye, thank you as well. Many other subs and bits were also dropped here. Thank you very much. I gotta go to the top here and grab some of the bigger ones here. Uh, Stone Tiger 085, thank you. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you. Atlet Gamer, thank you. Super Blue Hedgehog. With 1,006 bits for Merrill's Ransom. Good luck, everybody. We're going to need it. <laughs> Bull Honkinator with 1,500 bits. Get better, Taka. Thank you. Lasume, thank you again. A greasy X Spoon. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. This is always a highlight for the week. The plot is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Mm -mm -mm -mm. RPG Russian, thank you as well. Uh, Monty, I think that's it for me. Otherwise, I'm going to keep yeah. going. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's get started here. Cool. Awesome. Love you, Chad. Let's go. Bye, Chad. See you later. Bye, Chad. When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Task the Kobold Ranger, Freckles the Kenku Rogue, and Remy the Kenku Fighter, the party was assaulted at their very own tavern by a tenebrous demon, a demon of complete darkness and a servant to Noct. Forced to create revelations in an attempt to cast the demon out, many insights and feelings were learned. Meanwhile, Remy and Greckles, fearing for their employee's safety, chased down Meryl, who was heading home for the day. Intercepting Meryl, the party discovered her traveling with Stendin, quotation marks, towards the outer gate. In an attempt to confront this Stendin, Meryl was charmed and subsequently dimension doored away. Now being held as a hostage, the party is holed up in their closed tavern, trying to figure out a plan. Guards have been replaced by God knows what, their friends, potential victims of the Yugoloth invasion, and an unknown future for the city ahead of them. So, before we get started here, so that's really loud. <clears throat> um, you guys get a long rest. Oh, good! Hooray. Yay! Um, basically, all your employees bring every blanket and pillow just into the center of the tavern, and <clears throat> they secure both entryways into the tavern. Uh, loot. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, like a huge slumber <laughs> party. Um, you don't. You have to roll hit die. You're oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to hit that. I was just. I was trying to reset it. Yeah, it's like, wait a rest. second. That was my bad. I was. Just oh my god! I can't believe that Edward Bosco has betrayed us. I know, right? Through Remy. Oh, you just. You just wait. We still have that mirror that was left to us, correct? Yeah, we you do. still have that. <sighs> yep. okay. um, Willow has recommended. Technically, we have two. Yes, you have the one that's broken, um, and then you have the one that you receive. That one, Meryl recommends, or not Meryl, uh, Willow recommends to leave outside of the radius of the Livrosia anti, basically anti scrying field, mm -hmm. just because it will not work if you keep it in there. Right. Okay. Um, so you guys, at that, the night of um, the, basically the perimeter is secured, um, Willow sets up an alarm spell. Um, Louis Strog is on standby. Louis Strog's keeping an eye on the front of the tavern. Uh, Naragan is, is keeping his eyes on the back door that leads to the um, courtyard. We should probably get a temporary fix on that hole in my room as well. Uh, you know, Iggy and Fluffy are able to just like bring up some boards from the Reno spot and just kind of nail it where there's a giant hole now in the wall. By the way, uh, Upon waking in the morning, Greckles just tromps over to Borky's room, just... Oh, you guys are sleeping. You're not sharing rooms. Oh, you guys okay. are all in one centralized location. Yeah. So he curb stomps him in the face with his talent. Yes, no. he does! He actually does! He actually oh, does! God. <sighs> what, Look, Seth Rollins, calm down. What, what Borky, did you, what, what did you do to my door? <laughs> I destroyed it. Why? <laughs> the situation called for it. 
<sighs> so Helga. we're awake. Oh god. Yes. What do you got to drink? <laughs> she looks towards Willow, and Willow kind of turns back and goes, I mean, "Alcohol is not an important provision. You can give him alcohol." Willow at this point is like surrounded by books and papers. Like it's kind of absurd. Um, between her and Enceladus, the both of them have been, like, not sleeping at night. They've been poring over tomes and books, uh, trying to find some connection, some reason these creatures are where they are right now. Uh, Kurt, you are breathing into the microphone, by the way. I'm nowhere near my microphone. Okay, so, so someone is breathing into their microphone. Connor? I mean, <laughs> I... I... It's not oh. picking up on my end either, so I don't think it's me. Okay. I, I moved my unless in case it was me. Unless I'm crazy, uh, chat. I, anyway. Nadine, I, you, your mom, but it's, it, but it's like opening with your, it's like chewing with your mouth open, though. Anyway, uh, <laughs> question is, is Willow currently in possession of the mirror? Is she like, is that part of her research? Yeah, she's she's got it kind of sitting on a book. Um, and she's like kind of looking at it every now and again. Like she's actually kind of analyzing it just to see what the make would be, if there's any sort of connection to supplier. She's actually looking through um, ledger tomes, like ledgers of uh, Alabastian export and import. Um, like she's she's going pretty all out at the moment. You notice that, that every now and again, Louis Drog opens a door and Bright the Barchoba is kind of like dragging a book into the tavern. Huh. Well, if Willow is studying all that stuff and has the mirror, then that's where Remy is going to go the second he is awake and able. All right. Uh, she, her nose is like to a book. You see that she's got a series of notes, um, specifically pointing out the the mirror was made in Alabast. It was physically made here. Okay. Um, it bears no resemblance to any sort of religious iconography. Um, the frame, the era, everything seems to be very modern towards this current time period. Um, she's just trying to, I think at the moment now, she's trying to figure out what specific enchantment is on this mirror, just to ensure that it is, you know, <clears throat> whether or not it's going to summon shit, whether it's safe. Mm -hmm. Um, on top of that, she's got the book open of the Yugoloths kind of making notes. She's looking at anything she can about Arcanoloths in any capacity at the moment. Got it. Well, then I am going to approach. Is anybody else up? Borky just got uh, to wake. Stirring. Uh, I will, noticing the commotion between Greckles and uh, Borky, if I catch Panic's eye, I'm going to motion for him to come with me towards Willow. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll probably he'll probably be up at this point. I mean, uh, I I just have a, a quick general question. Did did we get a long rest before we went to sleep last night? No, you guys went to sleep to get your long rest. And that was the long rest. Great, okay. Which should replenish everything. Yeah. Um, also, a quick note. I am changing out one more spell. I'll give you an update. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, so I, I, I'm going to move to Willow. Okay. Yeah, I'll Kurt, you are, you are breathing in the microphone, Kurt. Well, oh, this time I am. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time, no, this time you're absolutely. All right, clear. everyone, stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. You lost. <laughs> Damn. The yokai will see Is me. Is that better? Now. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay, I'll stop the, breathing. All right. You know, you know, the oh, Super Bowl, you know, the Super Bowl would be a lot better if the winning team was allowed to live. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> what? Monty, Sorry. what the? Just like you know what? You know what, Monty? So I agree. You know what also would make it interesting? If the puppy bowl was the same way. No! <laughs> you joke, but the puppy Sorry. bowl it has less scandals. What, where are we? What, what, what about the superb owl? When is that going to show up? I know. Uh, I anyway. know. Anyway. Anyway, Sorry. so Willow, Ready? mirror, panic. Yeah, you see Willow. She's got big bags under her eyes, and she's like currently like like scribbling. You've you've seen Willow like work on potions, and she's just kind of like, I'm gonna bubble some things here. This is like intense levels of like note taking and homework level shit. Like this is like thesis paper due in two days levels of business. Okay, so as to not startle her out of her stupor, light hand on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. She looks up to you, and you just see the the big, uh, literally the big things in her eyes. You watch as Bright kind of hands her a book and, like, not breaking eye contact, takes it and flips it open. She goes, yes, Remy. You don't look like you slept last night. 
course I didn't. You watch as she places the book and kind of folds open a page and licks her thumb and kind of skims through it. Well, while I appreciate your diligence, at some point you're going to need to rest. That being said, have you found anything new? A couple things. Um, things of interest in the city. Um, the make of the mirror is Alabastian. It looks like elven make. Um, I can't really pinpoint it any particular seller. And you see she kind of points at the different ledgers and stuff. You know that Willow wants to open a magic shop, so having this ledger is not like she stole it. It's literally like... Um, it's literally like she has it on intentionally. Gotcha. I'm trying to think of... First of all, what would have initially brought them here? That's number one. Number two, why they're staying, which seems pretty obvious to me. And number three, where they are. But... All right, well, we know the why they're here, or at least we have a very good indication. As to why they're here in the first place, I would assume someone had to summon them from their plane, no? And I'm wondering if that was someone in Alavast or someone in a different plane. Well, our best guess is that they're carrying out a contract of some sort, so it's hard to tell if we don't know who they're working for. Yes. That being said, do we have any information on the mirror? Because before I make any haste actions, considering the note and the fact that it came with this mirror, I believe we should investigate that before we do um, anything else. Borky, uh, Borky kind of has gotten up and approaches the table where they're both talking. Borky pulls up a chair and sits down and uh, looks at them straight in the eye. I actually had an idea in my sleep. All okay. right. We keep tackling this. Now, normally when we were looking at this, we go to the police, we talk to the authorities, but we can't trust them right now. Well, I remember there was a point in time where we, there were two kind of directions we could have taken. Uh, how we are in this city there is above and below now i think we might need to go below to talk to the people underneath the city to see what they know if they have any information it's at all it's funny <clears throat> it's funny that you mentioned that borky oh, oh morning panic oh uh, yes good morning um you see it was every man actually that uh, first tipped me off to the Yugoloth problem in the city. I feel like maybe their insight would be beneficial, especially since we can't really trust anybody on the surface. Mm. Well, we can't trust anyone downstairs. Was actually we, planning on... we can't trust anyone downstairs, but we already knew that. Crackle. The devil you know beats the devil you don't, as they used to say in Tracadia. It's true, empties. I do love you. Shot... Jesus. Crackle's empties his oh, shot sucks. glass and heads over the table. It seems like they would have just as much of a problem down there as up here. Hi. Well, I don't work with criminals. Mawillo just kind of smiles, and at this point, Kay is like looking like sweating, like she's ready to write up the pink slips, and she's just like looking at all of you, just like, "Holy shit, are you together?" I, I imagine, I am, I imagine we would be keeping keeping that hush hush if Kay was listening. Yeah, Kay in. is awake. Um, but yeah, you guys do it hush hush. Um, as you guys are talking, Louis Strog kind of, like, snaps his fingers together to kind of, like, g catch your attention, specifically to you, Task. Oh, okay. I will look I, over. Uh, I look over at Louis Strog. Uh, I had something I was going to do, but I'll, I'll look at this first. They've been back five times in the morning so far. Who's been back? <sighs> what? Who's that? Two, two guards. They've been swinging by. Seems like they show up every hour and a half or so. They say anything? No, they're just walking by, looking and moving on. So we're definitely being watched. You should just shame with us every time. Two people talked at once. What did what did Tass say? Uh let, let Borky talk first, I'll wait. Alright. Is it the same guards each time? Yeah, it's the same two. A uh, man and a woman. They look like just entry-level guards, but... If they enter the premises, you are to take them and detain them. 
I feel like that's obvious. Question, are they part of the lower guard or the middle district? Uh, well, Kay kind of, like, fumbles with some books. There is a patrol, but it's not supposed to pass here every hour and a half. It's, um, there's sort of a, uh, she kind of looks around now. Everyone's kind of looking at you. She's like, huh. Um, well, there are, and she starts, like, going through all the different, like, number amount of guards and, like, what positions they're in and what the general sort of, like, patrol is. Um, notably, guards will frequent an area where they think stuff is sketchy. Um, but generally, that is higher level guards akin to, like, Doros and his crew. Not so much, like, lower level guards who just do a general patrol. So, very but because clearly... they're doing it to the Sweet Dragon, it's safe to assume that it's the lower district guards. Yeah, they are lower district guards. They're, like, yeah. entry-level guards, and they have definitely been by frequently, based on what Louis Drog is saying. Willow, I don't suppose you've been in contact with Doros. I tried, and I didn't get a response. It's not the first time, but... The timing is suspect. <laughs> Where would he have gone after his meeting, if not back here? Uh, probably back to the Avon Barracks, but that's in the High District. Um, she kind of starts tapping her quill on the on the table. Generally, he has the same patrol every day. Usually, he brings me... Um, she kind of gets a little bit blush in the face. He usually brings me a flower every two days or so. So there is a chance he might swing by today. Willow, question. Yes. I'm sure you've sent letters to him while he was out and about. How long did those letters take to get to him? Well, I usually have Bright deliver them, so... How long does that take? She looks to Bright, and there's this kind of the psychic connection. Anywhere between an hour to 20 minutes. It depends on where he is in his patrol. I have an idea... If you'll hear me out, I have an ability to hide script in case anything may be trying to scry on it. We could send a letter out and actually using your familiar might actually be better since it's not as, uh, well, commonplace and regular. Would it be beneficial if we try to reach out to Doros, even if it is unconventional, and try to either get him here or try to get some help? My concern is, and she looks towards the mirror, Meryl's curtain situation. Any uh, wrong move here could be dire. That's fair. Which is why my advice would be to first figure out what this mirror is capable of and then utilize it. Uh, hey, Monty. Yes. I'll just, I'll just save everyone a shitload of time instead of role-playing it. Uh, does Iggy have any of the stuff that I asked him to commission done? No, he's moving in currently. So between okay. Fluffy and Iggy, they're in the middle of their work when they've moved into the tavern. And now because of this obvious disruption, they've been kind of halted at the moment. All right. Iggy has been pacing back and forth like a madman this entire time. <laughs> is, there oh, a, is there a groove in the floor? <laughs> there, Some of the stools have gone missing and you've just decided not to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Willow, I have a question in your research. If you found anything about how to identify these creatures when they're glamoured. I mean, there's the obvious thing, detect magic. Um, I believe Task, because you told uh, basically Willow what you have. Task has an implement which seems the most proper usage, which is that pronged thing. Uh, yeah, I show her the I show her that. But I also pull out, I have the hummingbird. That, she points to the hummingbird, that's good for reconnaissance. You don't, oh yeah, you got the hummingbird back, that's right. Mm -hmm. Um, that, she points to the, the thing, that's going to be very important. Because if we go around attacking random guards in the streets, then Meryl's not the only one to be worried about. Should we possibly send out some recon to try and get some information, or at least locations to possibly hit up? I believe our first course I, I believe our first course of action should be to deal with the immediate threat to Meryl, which is supposedly this Arcanaloth, which has made it very clear that he wishes to speak, or it wishes to speak. Um now is Hosrod aware of everything that happened? We have no idea. 
Well, he you don't even know if he's still at Meryl's house. Yeah, he was staying at her house, so I think one of us or a couple of us should go to her house. I mean, at this point, wow, we sh really should. Going through gates, is that wise? No, it isn't. Well, there's a way out of the city throughout without a gate. And how would you be guaranteed that they wouldn't just keep you out there? They would also have legal discourse to keep us in the city, too. That's true. Um, Don't forget, Kay says, as she holds up your guys' current, like, quasi-arrest sort of uh, warrant at the moment. You guys are Kay, still... Hey, is that 100% necessary, depending on the fact that the entire lower district might actually be demons in disguise? The problem is, if they have a stranglehold on the people that make decisions, it doesn't matter what we think or what the facts are, they'll be what they make them. Remy, can you leave what? the- K, you... K points towards Remy, is just like what he said. Re <laughs> Remy, can you leave the city on your bird without anyone asking any questions? Without them asking questions, no. He was also, already there's, no, there's no guarantee they wouldn't try to shoot me out of the sky or that those things would not come back. Well, the thing is, what I'm thinking is they're not going to do anything in the middle of the bloody day. You say that. Well, Lo says she's like, she's, mm, she's in a pub, a very, very public place, though. Listen, the, my, the second we even go down a side street, second we go down an alley, second we're alone out there, that's where they strike. And they can easily do that. These things are heavily equipped with charming magic. The one thing that I don't get, though, is that they are so desperate to communicate with us. Would it possibly be an option to just communicate with them? As you say that, Greckles, the mirror begins to shift and shift. Uh, Remy's going to grab it before it does anything bad. All right. You grab the mirror and you hold it in your in your talons. Greckles will look over. Yeah, I'll make sure that I'll make sure that everybody can see the mirror so that it, they're not excluded from the conversation. Similar to your previous experience, you see currently facing the mirror is that fox face of the Arcanoloth staring back. Oh, good, you got my package. Greetings and salutations, Arcanoloth. <laughs> mm. You must be Remus Corbeau of the Corbeau family. You would be correct. Mm hmm. Shame about your father. Hmm. <laughs> you watch as the Arcanoloth kind of scans these, these fox like eyes with those almost like lizard like slit pupils kind of scanning and kind of reading every single one of you. Is that imp body still on the table? Uh, the imp body, yes. Willow's been sent. Remy's going to grab the imp body and hold it up. Shame about your imp. And then drop it. Oh, they're expendable. <laughs> well, Bo bottom of the barrel, beginning infernal beings. You're not entirely wrong. Curious how it's still here, though, don't you think? Well, exactly. I know you're not dumb, and I am no fool. And I so know then rather than have... playing, rather than playing games, what is it you seek? Well since you're so willing to comply, which I appreciate greatly, I would like to make a deal. We're listening. You it's a lot of dice being rolled. Sorry, I'm just moving dice out of my dice <laughs> chain. <laughs> okay, I was, I, about to, I was about to say. Everybody make a wish. Yeah, I was about to say. I was, 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 was going to say. Uh, you it can't, sounds, it you sounds can't like... charm people through scrying, at least I don't think. You say that, but it's the Legendary DM. She'll so do what that, she wants. That sounded like that sounded like an orc, like, like close combat phase. That's how much dice that sounded like. like a That's a dragon, dragon yeah. breath through the mirror. Guy, okay, come on, come on. I'm going to keep this very simple, and I'm going to recommend that you ask very little questions. Can we agree on that? All right. I'm still Excellent. waiting to hear your terms, demon. You have something of substantial value, to the point where I don't think you realize how valuable it is. Borky just looks over at Tubbs. Go on. It's a mask. To the average peasant, it looks like a mask. But to my knowledge, you might know that it's something more. Oh. And what exactly does this mask look like? It has a crooked little smile, 
sunken eyes and two long prongs coming out, almost like a rabbit. It's very ornate and it's made out of porcelain. Or so it seems. It gives off no magical aura and does some strange things when you put it on your face. Or so I've heard. Remy's going to turn around and look at the other four to see if any of them have a reaction to this. Oh, Mr. Corpo, you have no idea what's going on. But the rest of you, you do. Couldn't help but notice you poking around there, specifically the tiefling. My guards were nice to notify me about that. You four know a lot more than you're letting on. And? And it's time to pay up. The girl for the mask. Those are my terms. <clears throat> I'd like to. Thank you, uh, subtly contact Ed. I would also. In my head. I'd like to insight this thing while he's been spewing this craziness. Yeah. Roll an insight check on the Arcana off. Yeah, this will go great. How's an eight work for you? <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that's a 12. I still have to roll. 18. I know you do. Eight. Wow, Borky with the zero getting the 18. <sighs> Nice. I might as well. Yeah, sure. There's, unless you're all a natural 20. Yeah, no. Damn. Stone face. Okay. That's a 29 from it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, not yeah. bad, not bad. Yikes. Yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys can't read this thing. I mean, it's a fox face, how you mm. read that even. It's fair. What assurances do we have that you will honor it since you have uh, gone out of your way to attack people? Well, I'm a man of contracts, of course. Mm. You see, us Yugolots are a little bit more reasonable than devils and demons. We like deals a lot more, and I'd say we're a lot more fair. Well, why would you be working with the devils, then, oh. if you like working with the demons? You don't seem to understand who's in control of this situation at the moment. Oh, just... I'm not working for them. They are working for me. And I have many um, under an umbrella of employment, I guess it would be what your mortals would call it. Oh, yeah, how you long... know, speak... Wait, one sec, one sec. Oh, God, how long did that take to set up? My <clears throat> God, you... You... How powerful are you? Powerful enough. And for your sake, I hope you never find out. Turns and looks towards you, Greckles. Speaking of mortality, it seems that you and your kind aren't going back to where you came from. Not yet. And what knowledge do you have on that? Why would I tell you? Because I, I don't think because I don't think you have a single clue what's going on. No, I think they know exactly what's going on, and I think they need the mask. Show us Meryl. Show me the mask first. Who does have oh, that wait. above game? That it's would be me. always been panic. Okay. Panic about it. All right. So, um, I will pull out the mask, and while I'm doing this, I'm going to contact Ith. You say anything to Ith? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to say. Does this at all seem familiar to you? Do you have any idea what's going on? Who would want Liza's power? Ith comes back, and you feel this terror, this this fear in the depth of your heart. Consummate, consume, create. Control. Consummate, consume, create, control. Look at the fox. You show up the mask? Yeah. You see, you all can roll another insight on him as he sees the mask. Okay, I was going to ask to do that, so hey. bless you. You'll have to get a natural 20 because he rolled really high again. Uh, Fuck. That's all right. Come on, I'm due. I had a really bad week last week. Let's go. 10. Mm. 21. Damn it. 21. 
31. He rolled another 29. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. Seven. Okay. <laughs> mm. mm. You watch as he looks at the mask and he goes, well, you are quite reasonable. Very well. You watch almost like a cell phone kind of being carried. Uh, it's kind of shifted around. You see a chamber, uh, like wall to wall is just shelves of books. Um, very nice, like cut stone floors. Um, there are different runes on the floors as well. You see a corner spot uh, where you can see, similar to Willow, kind of like a apothecary potion making sort of corner. Uh, but in the center of the room is a bed. Uh, and kind of resting, almost like patient style, is Meryl, who is fast asleep. Um, well, I'll... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you note that she looks unharmed. Um, but you do note, like, hovering above is this sort of, like, this magical arcane symbol. Um, you're not sure what that is, unless you want to roll a knowledge arcana check. I would love to do uh, that. All right. That. I, before I roll Damn that, it. I wanted to ask, uh, I wanted to have Task roll for, like, gaining knowledge or perception on the idea of the room as it's being moved around. Okay. That's an 18 on my arcana check, by the way. 18. Okay, that appears to be some kind of um, like a tracking glyph. You, it's similar to like panic. Uh, sorry, panic. Uh, tasks hunt like hunter's mark in a way. Mm. It's kind of to just keep tabs on her in a way. Uh, it could mm. also be what's keeping her asleep. You're not sure. She could be just sleeping. Uh, task. I want you to roll a perception check for me. Can do. This is gonna be kind of hard. God, ten. The room is nice. It's not great. Um, it definitely looks looks man-made, um, either by magical means or just, like, worked. No, I will say this because you've experienced a lot of dwarves, specifically Adric. Definitely not dwarven-made, definitely not elven-made. It looks human-made. Right. Um, but there's no windows in this chamber. There's no real sort of sense whether it's in a house if it's underground there's no clarifying thing uh but it definitely seems well lived in uh with the books and everything it's kind of a mess um but yeah that's all you can kind of glean from it there's not much else all right human made well lived in kind of a mess yep a lot of books and there she is sleeping well I put the mask away. How dusty does it look? Not dusty at all. Okay. It looks like they've been in it a lot. Okay. And where exactly would you want to do this exchange? Well, seeing as you have stolen goods, why don't you deliver it to, deliver it to Captain Stenton? You do, after all, have one of his little subordinates with you. Have her deliver it for me. And the girl will show up unharmed back at your tavern. <laughs> so you oh. want us to just give you the thing and we're going to trust you, please. Unfortunately, these are creatures of contracts. And as much as I hesitate to trust it, it's the only thing they're good at. I'm that being it. said, it's a very important decision. So I don't suppose we can get back to you with an answer and discuss it amongst ourselves. Oh, I'm very reasonable. But I also have a schedule to keep. I'll give you three days. I think that's more than fair. Hmm. That being said, if the girl is harmed during those three days, I think you know what will happen. Of course. You mortals are rather barbaric in their own ways. You watch as the mirror goes blank. Doesn't, doesn't crack? No. It, this one stays fully formed. Uh, let's okay. put it within the area of the statue. And as soon as Tass does that... Uh, uh, we were... Mm. All right, go ahead. Go I, ahead, was, go ahead. I, was, I was just going to say um, that might not be the best idea. They might want to try to ta contact us again, and we won't know. And, it, and okay, if it shut down... Enough. yeah. Never mind. So... That Willow, be, that be... As ahead. you guys look, Willow has probably been like focusing, and she stops, and she goes... Okay, that's interesting. What's, what's interesting? interesting? It's a one-way channel, which is very smart. 
so I cannot track the magical sort of means by which he is. I can't figure out where he's contacting us from, but the opposite he can, which is smart. This is a very nice scrying mirror. Basically. So he can track where that mirror goes. Yes, but we can't track who's... Basically, basically imagine I have the end of a string and you have the end of the string. Mm -hmm. But he can make a connection to us, but if we try to track back that connection, it's basically like he's not holding onto the string at all. Does that uh, make sense? So we're more the puppets and he has the strings. We can't uh, see who's controlling the strings. It's more... Um, with a normal scrying mirror, sometimes you're able to find where the initial scry is coming from, which might be why this one is cracked, and she holds up the broken one. He probably broke this because this was a two-way sort of deal. This mirror could contact him, and he could contact this mirror. So then we have to make sure that this mirror doesn't leave the tavern, or it will be able to figure out where we are. Well, I mean, he knows. <laughs> I mean, she points towards Louis Strzok, and Louis Strzok just goes... Uh, Louis just kind of looks and goes, yeah, they just went by again. I more mean if we're going to move and do anything, we shouldn't have the mirror on us. It's a dead giveaway. At least no, make we, them work. We could keep it here. Um, Bork, Borky have... just take, Borky grabs a mirror and flips it over so the mirror's pointing down. There, now he can't hear us. I think. Is that how it works? <laughs> Good job, Borky. <laughs> Willow just kind of pats your back. I don't know. Like, he it. could be listening in. <clears throat> There's no way of not knowing you could be listening to everything we're saying here, so maybe we should muffle this like crazy. The mirror would have to activate, but we could go upstairs into that room that you apparently have. I'll go ahead and ritual cast detect magic just to make sure that nobody's scrying. Okay. You did detect a little bit of divination magic from the mirror itself, but it's dormant. It's not active. Um. Hmm. Okay. I got a million ideas and... I will say he made a grave mistake. It made a grave mistake. Oh. What's that? He told us what, we know exactly what it wants now. And we didn't have to work for that information. Yeah, and really. we know where Merrill is. Exactly. Did anybody happen to catch what that glyph was above Merrill's head? Some sort of... It might have been keeping her asleep. She, she, Greco's mentioned something about her being charmed. That was probably a preliminary spell, though. Whatever that was is probably far more powerful. I think she may have may have used... She was charmed. It was either suggestion or charm person. My guess would be charm, which is not something a paladin can normally do. That was the first worrisome thing I saw. That does make me wonder, if the guards aren't here, where in the hells are they? That's a good question, but we were told not to ask many of them. That being said, we have three days to try to figure this out. Someone's coming to the door. Everyone stay calm. Everyone grabs your... Morky grabs one. Lustrog grabs the war pick off the back. Uh, as you guys kind of stand in the tavern, you hear a... Uh, and then you hear if... some sounds. Here we go. And that is a success. You hear a... As the door swings open, you watch as a tall hooded figure walks in, and immediately Louis Strong is going to tackle them to the ground. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Get him! Get him, Louis Strong! Get him! Ah! <laughs> Everyone just making noise. Ah! Louis Strong, Remy... like, 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 SWAT style, like, like, neck locks the individual and slams them to the ground. And as they're slammed to the ground, you see the hood fling back, and you see Hossrod pinned to the ground, going, What the fuck? What is happening? He's you, snake, slammed. calm down. <laughs> he hisses towards you. <laughs> All right, shut the door. Louis Strong, let him go. You. you. Wait, no, don't let him up yet. Uh -huh. You. That, that, that. I'm going to bite you. I'm going to bite your arm. Stop yeah. resisting. Task, Stop resisting. task, I task. Will, I will tap him on the forehead with the pick. Ah, what the what? fuck? You, you hit him, there's no ringing at all. He's clean. What, all happened, right. what happened when we first met? What spell did you cast on me? What the fuck? I don't, like, charm, I don't know, charm person? I don't fucking know. Uh, where'd he, where, where'd he test him guys. for? He's clean. <laughs> Who do you work for? Forky, stop, please. Watch. What the fuck? Myself. I work for myself. What it's is actually... with you losers? You're acting all jumpy. We have a reason to. What is it that we can do for you? Hasrod, was it? 
Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm so flattered you remember me. Uh, Meryl didn't come home yesterday. Her parents are pissed. Well, I'm yeah, worried, I guess. Because she's in a hostage situation. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Listen, okay, we'll go listen. ahead and lay it on them like that, all right? I... Wait, listen, wait, Hoss Rod. wait, 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 shut up. What did you just say, Task? Hasrod, we're in a very big bind here. There is a there is a demon that is holding Meryl hostage. Hasrod walks up to you and grabs both of your shoulders. Someone took Meryl? Yes, and we're trying to figure this out and get her back without her harmed. Any wrong move, we'll see her dead. For the first time ever, as Hasrod opens his mouth, you see two large fangs come out. Ooh, as he boy. leans down, his eyes glow, this almost thaumaturgic glow, and he goes, where? We're trying we to figure that out. Do you want to join? Do you want to join in the debate on this? Do snakes have scales? Of course. Yes. All right, I shut the door. <clears throat> there is something I can do. I think. I don't know if that orb above her head will be will interfere in this at all, but it's worth a shot. I think. All right. What is it? She's sleeping. <clears throat> I'm going to need to sit down. Oh, you. Brilliant tiefling. All right. Uh, I'm going to pull up a chair. I'm going to uh, summon uh, catharsis to my hand. Okay. And hand. I'm going to start plucking out a lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly, <laughs> slowly, uh, panic's eyes begin to close, and I cast Dream. Okay. Could you please click that spell for me? It's pretty big. Oh, <laughs> Here it comes. Big big word. Word. Oh, you guys like reading. Oh, oh my yeah, God. The spell word. Shapes, shapes a creature's dreams. Choose a creature known to you as the target of this spell. The target must be on the same plane of existence as you. Creatures that don't sleep, such as elves, can't be contacted by the spell. Uh, I enter a trance uh, while acting as a messenger. While in this trance, the messenger is aware of his or her surroundings. We can't take actions or move. If the target is asleep, the messenger appears in their dreams and confers with the target as long as they remain asleep. Okay. There is no saving throw for that. No saving throw, unless she's an enemy, which I don't think I'd she is. Like you. I'd like to think she does. God, I hope she's not. <laughs> I gave you $500 to go to school. Connor, yeah, as soon as you're like, I have, an, I have an idea, I'm like, he's going to use the dream spell. Dream walker. Yes. So you watch as uh, Panic kind of goes into this trance. And Panic. That's me. You are walking in this sort of ethereal landscape. It is basically just like a large open room. The floor just reaches out for forever. Hmm. Uh, I'll look around. This is the first time I've done this, so Panic isn't quite sure what's happening with the surroundings. He's, he's going to continue walking. He's going to be Meryl. You, your footsteps echo on the floor, kind of like. Oh, that's familiar. As you kind of feel a bit of coldness on your face. I'm going to remain vigilant. I don't know if the, I don't know if the orb is interfering with this at all. So he's he's going to, the second he feels like something is wrong, he'll. Okay. As you stand there, buildings begin to rise from the earth, cityscape that you recognize of Alabast. You begin to hear jaunty music, the sounds of fiddles and instruments, trumpets flutes. Uh, you begin to see faceless people kind of standing and walking about. Uh, and you see a bunch of, not like children, but young young women, like uh, teenager age, kind of running with streamers. 
and pinwheels. Uh, and you see Meryl running amongst them, kind of laughing as she goes. Okay. Uh, I will so, sort of sort of like a merriment and, and joy in this dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she uh, so dreaming about a festival of some specification. I'll go ahead and try to blend in a little bit. I'll I'll be I'll be uh, the play the part of the minstrel playing my guitar and skipping and wandering up beside her. Okay, roll a stealth check, I guess. All okay. right. Commoner roll. Let's go. Plus one. Woo! Oh, it's still pretty high. Stealth. Okay. Nineteen. Mm. Yeah. Woo! Nice. She got a sixteen, so you beat her. Oh. Uh, you watch as she's like kind of walking and you recognize some of the faces of like the people the dream people kind of near her one is cynthia uh the others are people you haven't met yourself you assume are classmates or friends of some kind um and they're just kind of like layers like, we gotta try that pie i heard it's amazing and they're just kind of talking amongst that as like basically meryl's just kind of looking up at the streamers and the beautiful decorations and it's just kind of really having a nice pleasant dream Okay. I'm going to uh, walk up to her and her friends. Just like, hey, everybody, are we enjoying the are you enjoying the festivities? Hey, Panic. You watch as she kind of smiles. Hey. How's it going, kiddo? It's going great. Are you going to be at the um, the concert later on? Oh, sure thing. Absolutely. I, I just need a, a moment of your time before we, we get to the concert. To... Oh, sure. And she kind of turns to her friends. And wondering... they just kind of go, we'll catch wondering... you later. And they kind of run off. And she walks up to you and goes, yeah. what's up? I was wondering if we could talk one-on-one. -on -one and uh, with a flick of my wrist, the scenery will change. And we're at the Sweet Dragon. She's sitting in a comfortable chair holding a mug of hot cocoa. And so am I. You watch as she, like, it is a dream. So what would it be? definitely phased someone who is awake they would have been like what the fuck she's just kind of like like for a moment there's like this this comprehension but she kind of ignores it and it's just kind of like oh okay mm, she kind of drinks it as you drink the tea it's uh, the as best hot the cocoa she's ever had there's no taste because it is a dream um but she, I know. <laughs> she, she drinks it you drink it it tastes like nothing but to her, it's the best she's ever had. You watch as she, like, as she drinks it, she kind of wipes some whipped cream off of her nose. I just, I, I'm just ready to hear the Inception sound effect. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take away from this. <laughs> but I'm waiting for a bois so bad. So, so, uh, last night, uh, seems like you, you, uh, went away with Stendon last night. Is that right? I... You watch now as her face kind of purses. No. Oh yeah, I did. I was going home. Yeah, that's what I heard. And Stendon, he uh, did some. He 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 took you somewhere magically, like I can. Right. I remember seeing Greckles and Mr. Corbeau. Yeah great guys but Stenin was really nice and I don't know I just he watches her face kind of becomes more purse I felt like I had to go with him yeah I bet you did well and then we were at the front gate and then we were in like a warehouse or something a warehouse. Yeah. And then... Do you re remember any of the surroundings around the warehouse? It was really dark. Uh, there was, like, rope and metal, I guess. And then... Then we jumped again. And we were... It was like a, like a house basement. It was really fancy. There was lots of wine. But it was dark again. There was no one in there. And then once more, and we were in a really smelly place. It smelled really bad. 
One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling up. So I'm pulling up my notes. Roll knowledge arcana as well. All right. Uh, one second. I'll roll. Roll knowledge arcana. I'm pulling up my other notes. I've got like three sheets of notes open right now. Knowledge arcana twenty-two. 22. Good roll. Take us. Keep it all in a Google Doc. <laughs> So it sounds like the Arcana Loth used Dimension Door three times. Ooh. That is, he, that sounds powerful. Yeah, so he hopped three times. And one of the stops was. Wait a minute. I'm that powerful. Never mind. I was going to say, he's your level at least. Uh, okay. He used Dimension Door three times. She was in a warehouse with rope and metal. You get the sense that he jumped district to district based on those descriptions. Said a warehouse with a warehouse with rope, rope and metal. Rope and metal. A basement with a lot of wine. And where's the third place? A very stinky hallway. Okay. I'm wondering if this is three separate places or one place with all three parts of it. That's what's tripping me up right now. Hmm. We'll have to rack our brains to see what locations match those. Uh, can in the hmm. dream spell can the individual who's dreaming influence the dream just like you I think I have a bit more pull than the dreamer at this point because I'm the one casting the spell I can manipulate the dream however they like but I can if she, if you're if she's doing what I think she's trying to I can sort she's of she's trying to remember and she could visualize it if you let her I I'll go ahead and yeah, I'll I'll let her visualize what what is happening in the dream. Okay. You, and if I recognize any of the landmarks, I'll fill in the blanks. You and her are standing in the city street, where you see Dream Greckles and Dream Remy. Dream Greckles is just as you remember it, but Dream Remy is like weirdly buff, like kind of <laughs> over the top. <laughs> Oh my god, I, it's, I, it's the Homer like, Sim oh my god, it's the Homer Simpson re re remembering the, the speech. Mm-hmm. Monty, Monty, I'm flattered. I shrink him back down. Let's sit, let's simmer down. Let's Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I am the only hot it's, one in this campaign. It's, it's not like it's not like ooh, sexy Remy. It's just like the idea of a knight to her in this sort of like oh. subconscious state is like a knightly, you know, big. So, know, so it's ha ha, Remy. Yeah, it's like ha ha, inventing <laughs> Remy. Huzzah! Uh, <laughs> Gonna need Art of Meryl then... on the table pointing, but buff Remy nodding along. Because why, why that... do I imagine? Why do I imagine now Remy is like a fucking uh, medieval times jouster? Like oh, that's son that's of a. Oh my God, I mean, like yeah, that. but the <laughs> difference is it's in the middle of the air on Griffins. Yeah, <laughs> that um, just makes it more hardcore. Then, then in the dream, it's like you are suddenly bamfed to this warehouse. And it is a not as big as the warehouse you guys have received. It's smaller than that. Uh, you see, like wall to wall, are just like old anvils, um, metal scrap, um, and you hear sounds. Roll a perception check for me. Okay. Perception check. Um, perception is gonna be nope. It hit it. Oh, oh, nineteen. Nineteen. Pretty good. Uh, you hear in Meryl's memory, I suppose, um, the sound of pounding metal, like like anvil, like hammer on anvil. This you get the sense would be the lower general district, so where the Sweet Dragon would be. It's a pretty big district, given that it's most of the trade happens there. So you get the sense that he probably initially bamped somewhere, obviously isolated away from you know Remy and Greckles. Uh, just to kind of get his bearings. Makes sense. Okay, and I I know the range. Yeah, it's about, I believe it's 500 feet. It's 500, 500 feet, feet, so <laughs> within the spot where they once were, this warehouse would have, have to be within 500 feet of that spot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then the second BAMF is the wine cellar. Do they happen, I'm sorry, do they happen right after one another? Meryl's memory is hazy, and she's definitely under the, I mean, you would know this, she was charmed by some some magic. Um, so yeah, you yeah. get the sense that like even a command like go look at the corner 
uh, could have probably blocked your vision because there are times where like you get the sense that her something is missing in her memory whether it be she was you know told to like close her eyes told to like you know the Arcanaloth's smart he's not gonna just let her see shit um but then eventually they bamf again and they're in this wine cellar um the wine cellar is very small uh it is kind of two sides of it it looks like um like a house wine cellar it doesn't look like what like what helga has it looks like aristocratic kind of like small location sort of deal like would a person be able to walk through it or do they have to crouch down like a crawl space uh, they can walk through it, but it's, like, wall-to-wall -wall on either side. It's like, you, you are rubbing shoulders, if you were, okay. like, of an average height, you'd be rubbing shoulders with these wine bottles, All essentially. Right. So it's like, you know, if you had a pantry, it's like a little, like, staircase that goes down into, like, this wall and wall of wine you could choose from. But it's definitely not enough wine to be, like, you know, like, a restaurant or, like, a tavern or something like that. It definitely seems to be a person's living space. Yeah, a personal pull. Uh, you can roll a perception check with disadvantage because of the nature of the dream panic. Okay. Perception check with disadvantage is going to be not great. Ten. Some of these bottles are marked with a symbol. Uh, the... Can I make out anything that's on the symbol? Uh, with that roll, uh, you can make out one symbol. It's an M. It is an intricate M. One of the wax sort of stamped, like, whiskey bottles has an M mark on it. Hmm. So we know we it's whiskey. Like that. Yeah, we may have something like that in the Sweet Dragon. Uh... The interesting thing about it, it has a wax seal on it, but no label. You said so waxy did... on the label? Yep. No so label and an M on it. Yeah. yeah. This is this is a really stupid question. I think I know the answer. Do you have proficiencies with brewer's tools? That's going to be a negative, Captain. Yeah, so you don't know. But you see it, so you can make a note of it. And then immediately you bamf to this hallway. Now, you can't smell anything in the dream, but... You almost see like kind of like wispy stink lines, kind of like a, like you know when they draw like the stink lines on a drawing. I, hear, I just hear the scout. Yeah, those are stink lines. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, those are the stink lines because you smell. Because <laughs> you smell so bad. I'll I'll sort of do a, a a cartoonish wafting of the stink lines towards my nostrils. Now, did it smell like like cheese or something, or what was the smell smelly like? It smelled like dried pork that's been out in the sun for too long. But smelly in a bad way. Yeah. Like pork what? smells like human. What's flesh? <laughs> yep. Yeah, pork and human smell the same. Okay, that's not good. <clears throat> Do you know what I, I hate to ask you this, but do you know what, like, rotting meat smells like is that kind of what i'm yes. sure we've i'm sure i'm sure ty has some has had some mishaps with some rotting meat or he left it leaves it out the ferment did it smell anything like that i guess yeah okay but like worse like really bad really really bad huh mm -hmm. i don't mimic this i don't mimic the scent i know what she's talking about yeah, you can't you can't even tell. Like there's no way in a dream to, to smell it. Let me make myself make a constitution check in my own dream. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> all of a sudden all of a sudden all of you guys are just sitting around looking at panic, all of a sudden he goes <laughs> <laughs> I uh... Man, all, all I gotta say is I'm like, it must be fun to be a caster, because this is this you're having a lot of fun right now. And Bork's like, mm -hmm. We hey, we all got roles to play, and this Absolute, was a brilliant move by him. Oh, absolutely! No, one thing I love, I love seeing Connor do this kind of stuff. This is fun as hell. Okay, so all right, I have that in my notes now. And then, um, Stendin told me to follow him. And and then, 
What did you see then? I walked forward. There were a lot of hallways. And there were a lot of scary things. Like what? Uh, I had to make her... There's so many details to this. With the stink lines, she looks down oh. one hallway and you see... Not oh, bad. Stinky. You see walking, like, kind of like, you know, if you're in a school hallway, like, kind of passing by each other. You see this large creature, um, and she rolled a 16, so she has a pretty good idea of what it looks like. You see... How tall would this thing be? Quite tall. Uh, the hallway's big, by the way. It's not like a small, cramped, like, tunnel system. This is, like, cut out. Um, you see a, a six-limbed creature, I'd say. Two feet, two arms, and two massive claws. It has a face. Definitely a demonic face, for sure, with two long horns that run back. Um, kind of this, this significant underbite. Um, and it, 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 it looks kind of shifty and warbled, but you do see it as it kind of passes does this look by. Like, does it look like anything I've seen before in either the book or the demonic mural? I will say roll an arcana check. I don't know a lot of these today. Average DC, I'm going to say for this one, because it's not above a certain threshold. So. Bonnie, I'm screaming oh, eternally as a DM. 12. I know, right, Zito? Well, you've never seen anything like this. Um, you get the sense that this is not a devil, it's probably a demon, which is why you don't recognize it. Okay, two horns. Probably a demon. The claws are kind of like, a little bit like crab claws, but like razor sharp. Like, they look pretty wicked. Crab claws. And then underneath those, it has, like, two humanoid, like, kind of arms, muscular arms. I'm screaming. Oh, I God! <laughs> yeah. God! Monty, Monty, you know why. I know, I know. I don't. Okay, well, this is useful information to get to Enceladus later. Uh, the walk through the hallway is very drunken. Like, you know the hallway in Ocarina of Time and, like, the... The um, what's what's that one temple? The uh, the forest temple. It kind of oh, twists, yeah. you know, oh, like the twisting kind of hallway. Yeah, as you walk, like anytime you walk with Meryl, there are times where she like very clearly had the blinders on. She was ordered not to look at anything, and she was ordered to look forward, and it kind of cuts in and out. And you watch as like she's standing next to you while watching these visions, and she's like very in thought, and she's just like, and then there was the really creepy things. Oh, it gets worse, huh? How is it worse than can, that? Can you tell me about those? And I'll, I'll refill her mug of hot cocoa. Uh, you watch as the landscape goes completely black. She goes, I saw a few of them. There's more than one. They had, like, doll faces, but made out of metal. Oh! Doll faces, but made out of metal. Yeah. Why are you guys yelling? What the fuck is going on? I have no fucking because, idea. Am I just know what it is. Am I just Don't worry, Kurt. You got to you just got to DM more. It's fine. Okay, this is so this is a it, not that I'm This stupid. is a you this is a monster manual thing. Don't uh, worry about it. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought Shut I was up. just a fucking you, idiot. <laughs> you see um this probably the size of Louis Strog, I'd say. Fully armored kind of gray-skinned humanoid um wearing a long red cape and they hold a halberd in their hand. And just as Meryl said, their head is kind of, like, cocked and crooked, and it is, like, pressed metal. It almost looks like a baby face that's been pressed in metal and just sits there, like, like emotionless, and it's very uncomfortable to look at. Does this ring any bells? Roll. This is going to be an Arcana check again. Oh, boy. I want a lot of these today. Oh, boy. Glad I trained myself in this one. Hi, yeah. Oh, nineteen. Uh, you would know this to be a Maragon. Maragon. Yes, the souls of fallen soldiers become these. Um, often uh, they tend to be mercenaries who have made pact with demons or 
Yugoloths in this sense, who basically become ser like servants to an absurd degree. Um, to the point where they will literally, like, get down Mr. President demons and devils and shit. <laughs> they are machine-like in nature. They will literally do anything. Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> that Forgotten Realms lore, though. Mm. Yeah! Ugh. Great. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. <laughs> and then after that and then what happened I don't remember I just fell asleep hmm. well Stenzen just said I was really tired and I should rest so I did yeah mm -hmm. you see now you Meryl's just kind of got like the brain is kind of going <laughs> And she's just kind of staring forward into the cup of, of hot chocolate. The dough is rising. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you see her eyes kind of rolling around and her in her skull just kind of looking side to side as if trying to comprehend it all. Panic, am I? I'll tell you what. Panic, am I going to die? <laughs> Give her a big old smile. Not if we have anything to say about it. And we do. And you've helped so much. You are very brave. And you are very smart. A little bullheaded at times, but that can be to your benefit, I think. There were books. Books. Engraved on the walls. What did they say? Nothing. They were just books. Books on the walls. Near the start of the hallway. But I don't remember anything else. Okay. Well. You're going to be fine. And you know why? Why? It's because the unexpectables have your back. Do you see it kind of gives like a little nervous yet <laughs> genuine smile? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. But I guess I should let you get back to your concert, huh? And then, uh, She's, I'll, I'll transport us back slowly, and she's still got her mug of cocoa. And mm -hmm. all of her friends come back, and she's she's at the stage at the concert, and I'll put a little ghost panic up there. As the dream fades out, and you see all Wait, the revelry uh, around. Yep. Uh, could I negotiate with you on something? Okay, what? <laughs> It's, this isn't quite how it works, but <clears throat> doesn't say I need an instrument for this. Could I give her bardic inspiration? I would say no, because you're not physically interacting with her. Yeah. All right. It was a stretch anyway. Okay. All right. As you fade out of the dream, the people are running around her with pinwheels, and you just see Meryl holding onto that mug, just staring at you as the dream ends for you, and you are back in the Sweet Dragon Tavern. <sighs> what happened? Yeah, as soon as he comes out of that, Remy is going to be sitting there with a book and a pen, and he's going to put it in front of him, having known. <laughs> <laughs> you are brilliant. Right, before you forget. Oh, how, how long was I out? Monty, that's a great question. About an hour. Uh, it's been an hour. <sighs> Okay. Again, um, before you forget, write, please. All right. Mage hand, I'll start writing. <laughs> all right. You start writing everything down. At I'm this not point, going to hold a pen like a piece of. Basically, I took all those notes. <laughs> I need you to convey them to me. There's nothing uh, I hate more than. I just got this info dump. I'll tell you later. Yeah! 
as as you as you're like writing down the notes ty comes out with pancakes for everybody Yay. it's been an emotionally distressing week i'm gonna get everybody pancakes uh when he draws out the time. wax when he draws out the wax seal i'm going to show it to uh willow does this look like anything you might know of i don't drink alcohol i just mean but... do you know the symbol perhaps helga yeah, Willow looks at it and goes, it's an M. Oh, great. <laughs> Helga! Yes? You're good with alcohol. Do you happen to recognize this sigil? I dabble. She walks over. <laughs> <laughs> Remy's gonna that. chuckle. She picks up the symbol, um, and she looks at it, and she goes, you saw this on the wine bottle. Yes, I believe it was wine. Nothing else. There was no label. That's all I could get. That is home brewery. That means this was brewed inside the house. <laughs> That's what I thought. It looked like it was inside of a wine cellar. Mm. The M. Why can you buy this stuff to set up your own, like, wine cellar? <sighs> Helga just looks at you, Borky, and just kind of scoffs and goes, literally anyone can make wine. Whether or not it gives you rot gut is another thing. Mm. Is this sigil unique to the person who made it, or is it just a universal symbol for house brewed ale? Well, it's easily sealed, which meaning it can be given away as gift, perhaps. What I mean is, is there a way to trace it back to whoever made this particular bottle? Mm. Monty, I have a dumb question. Yes. Do I remember this symbol from the wine I brought back all the way in chapter one? Where was that from? That was outside of the city. No, this this is labelless, so it wouldn't be yeah. similar to an actual. This is not from a winery. You know, I just winery wanted to make sure that I wasn't like. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah, wait yeah. again, fucking Zito with the yeah, big yeah. brain, good, Jesus. Good, good. Borky, brain check though. Borky, Borky goes. Yeah. Oh, like, so, so if Helga doesn't know, there's only one other wine connoisseur we know in town, Paddock. And that would be. You know who? Oh. Mm -hmm. If anyone would know wine in this town, it'd be a man we know. Yeah, yeah. But do we know that it's actually them? We have a way to check. Uh, that's they true. might be able to find out. They're very well connected. We stay away from K. <laughs> K is like K is like squat, like kind of squatting in the corner, preparing her spells, and just like narrow eyes staring as you guys are in your huddle, and you all look at her. She's right. just like, Borky like the strict librarian <laughs> is just kind of looking at you all, like. Hmm. Borky puts puts her puts his hands over her ears. We can keep talking now. Uh, Helga, <laughs> Helga, my question still stands: Is there a way to track where this may have come from, or is it, it is universal? Home, it is a home wine, so it was made inside the home. But it doesn't necessarily. It's not a house sigil, is what you're saying. Mm, it could be. It could be the signature of someone, but there are many M's in this city, I can only assume. So we'll say, uh, um, it was in a rather isolated part of the city, I believe. It's, and I do believe they are still within the city walls it says, when this occurred. It says here in your notes that the f second jump was the one to the wine cellar. Uh, yes. <sighs> I, we the maximum distance the maximum distance for dimension door is 500 500 feet, feet yes. It, it, would it be prevalent to go back to where Greckles and I first saw them and then try to work backwards from there? Or forwards, rather? Willow kind of scratches and goes, mm. the problem is, though, with the dream spell, we don't know how much Meryl didn't see. She could have been moved in that time. We don't know. She probably just remembers the initial jump, and then after that, she could have been told to close her eyes. She could have been told to, you know, like, just not think. I mean, that what happens. About, but what about all the demons that she saw in that last jump? It seemed concentrated. It, it, it probably stood out more, even if she caught just a glance. <gasps> Clearly, based on what Panic is drawing, they are very strange and disfigured. They would stand out in her mind. Exactly. I don't know what the first... Don't know what the first one is. The second one is a Maragon. Willow, in any of your studies, have you seen anything like that creature, the first one? Uh, let me grab some books here. It Why might you take do... me some time to study that. While you do that, should we put the you-know-what 
near the you know what statue? No, we already no. agreed that if it's anywhere near that, it could be affected, which would tip them off that we can negate that magic. Oh, I'm just worried about them listening into this. Oh, uh, you still d- ritual cast uh, detect magic. Yes, same thing. You feel the dormant divination magic, but nothing else beyond that. I'll, I'll keep it going for its full duration. Okay. While Willow works Which on that, out. Panic, you said that you have a friend who knows wine. Yes. <clears throat> Do you believe it would be wise to contact them and perhaps ask them to identify this sigil? Possibly. I will pull out the orb of sending. Okay. And I will uh, walk upstairs. Okay, to your room, just being patched currently by Fluffy. Fluffy's yeah. like, like holding up a voice and like, put the nail in. Just kind of like holding it up as <laughs> he's like hammering it in. I'll I'll go to like Greckle's room since the door is open. Okay, yeah, it's not there. So <laughs> what door? <laughs> what door? <laughs> uh, I will cast sending and send a message to every man. Anna clenched. What is your message to every man? 25 words. Boy. Yes, it is. I'll have to reword it a little bit because I now know some information that I didn't previously. Uh, give me just a couple moments no here. Worries. In the meantime, uh, the rest of you guys watch as Lewis Drog stays in his position. He's watching the front still. Uh, but Naragan, who is exhausted, uh, trades out with um, with Vel. Okay. Um, Naragan does suggest the nature of this to send away Zotira and Arlo just for some time off, just given the nature of this situation. As they are, agree. they're pretty, they're pretty young and very strong headed. So if they, they aren't as, like, they're not, they're probably going to do something reckless. So Lewis Strong just wants to basically say, like, I'll just lie to them and tell them that we're closed for renovations, basically. Yeah. So that way the dragons mm-hmm. don't cause anything to happen. Uh, Remy's gonna while the while just real quick, just gonna sneak over to Kay, who's probably still preparing her notes. She seems different, and not like in a she's gonna murder you sort of way, and just like a little like kind of off put sort of way. Will okay. you let me roll an insight on her? Absolutely. <laughs> that's gonna be a twenty five. Nice. Mm. Let me roll. Did you hide your emotions? Nope, that's an eight. Uh, so that's not gonna do it. No, she seems like. First of all, the fact that you can't trust the guard is a big deal because she mm-hmm. works for the guard. You can mm-hmm. tell that that's definitely got her kind of, you know, it would be as if um, I'm echoing again. Um, but um, it, it would be as if like your Griffin Calvary, like everyone, you know, was like untrustworthy. Mm hmm suddenly and like you couldn't trust them and like of everybody not... in this room i think remy can relate considering yeah. Volithia. um so she's definitely like she's like this is a woman who works off of her connections to her co-workers and she does not have those connections right now so she's trying to find her own resources remy will uh again just to not startle her talent on the shoulder to see if yes. she i'm sorry you look distraught i just wanted to oh no i'm great it's only that the guard has probably been infiltrated it's not probably they have been (sighs) (laughs) plunge the knife deeper remy smooth look i'm not going to pretend like you're not distraught but i've noticed yes at the same time i wanted to let you know that whatever you're dealing with, whatever your mind is telling you is or is not going to happen, I want to let you know that you can trust me. Roll a persuasion check. Oh, God, why that one? Oh, God. 14? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she rolled a three. I'll take it! <laughs> <clears throat> she just kind of, like, sighs and makes raspberries, and she kind of, like, leans forward. She goes... I don't know. I thought when Rourke Bronzevang asked me to do this, it would be, you know, just maybe this is too much. 
Maybe it was, but <gasps> some people are born into greatness, others have it thrust upon them, and we have to react accordingly. You're a part of this, and you have the opportunity to help all the people you're concerned about. But what we cannot do is let our fear freeze us. We have to Just move forward. Stendon, I wonder how long? I couldn't tell you your guess is as good as mine, but... He's my commanding officer. He trained I... me. I know. Listen. The place where I came from, I went through something similar, and it did not turn out well. What I can assure you is this is different. Devils and demons are predictable, as Willow has said. We have an opportunity to do great things, but we have to keep our wits about us. Of course. If it's all the same to you, I'm taking a lot of anti-magic spells again. I think that's wise. That. You've been incredibly helpful. We probably would be dead without you, to be honest. But, and she puts up a finger in front of your beak, I, as a member of the Guard, shall not conduct crimes. Listen, as... <laughs> that's what we're for! <laughs> as, as a knight and a noble, I don't intend on committing any crimes. We have four very capable people who can do anything we need, hopefully on... Oh, what is this? How loud is this being spoken to everybody in the room, by the way? No, it's like private. This is off in the corner. corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys wouldn't hear this at all. We have four very capable people who can we, do whatever we, we want. We have four... Of the bus. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> we have four very capable people who are very resourceful. That being said, we can do other things while they are busy. Of course. I intend to go back to the Hyde District if you would like to join me. You I might be very helpful. In there. If we've knocked off, if we don't have permission to be up there, then I hate to say it, and pardon my pouty mouth, but we're screwed. <clears throat> Gasp! <laughs> How dare she say that? So. You believe you've had your access revoked as well if you were to make a report to Brock or I, something? I never had access. Oh. I had special permission. That's not access. Willow. Yes? You watch as she's like pouring through a book at the moment, not even looking at you. When you go to visit Doros in the High District, does he sign you in or do you have access? Oh, I, I don't go to the High District. Why am I the only... All right. Noble! <laughs> <laughs> Rich boy! Listen, <laughs> let, let me think of a strategy, but I can assure you we will not be committing any crime. You have my word as a knight. Panic. What is your message? My message is things worse than expected. Not just Yugoloths, but demons, devils, taking hostages, guards compromised. We are being magically watched. Can we meet, have, and need information? Okay. Yeah, good message. Uh, you receive a response very quickly. Panic. Nice to hear from you. Bring wine. We'll chat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Do we got a moment? All right. So. Yep, I'll come back down. <laughs> Holding my head like fuck. While all this goes on, uh, uh, Griffiths would like to approach Hostrad. You watch as Hostrad currently in the moment is surrounded by like 50 snakes. Uh. And, he's, and he's just like, Clarence, go get my dry cleaning. Banana, get me my robes. No, the cool ones. And he watches the big giant like banana constrictor kind of <clears throat> disappears. Maurice, you're doing great as an intern. He's just kind of barking orders to all the snakes. Hostrad. Yeah. He, he have we told him about this information just above game real quick? Yeah, I'm assuming you filled him in on what's yeah, going on. Of course. Yeah. Do you have any idea about any of this intel? This possible brewery, this M, this smelly place that Meryl's apparently in? I got not a clue, and that pisses me off. Makes me wanna he kind of just hisses a little bit, and you watch as his tail kind of like jiggles at the end, almost like a rattlesnake. <sighs> I'm pissed have... off at myself, mostly. I've been kind of out of the loop lately. 
Freeloading off you guys has made me soft. Well, this is an opportunity to get hard again. Oh my god. Don't don't say it like that. <laughs> oh my god. Really? As really, Gaikin? As a gazer wow. rises, rises up oh, from behind oh, the window. Oh, Alright, guys, let's just press <laughs> pause on the whole game. Let's, 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 let's press pause on the whole session. Goomba. <laughs> you're the one. Bobby. You're the one that, Bobby. Shut, the hell up. shut the hell up. You're the ones that are making it a big deal. I'm the mature one here. <laughs> yeah. Unpause. Totally. Unpause. <laughs> okay, we're good. You I'm gonna have my my snake scan the city, see what I can find. But this stuff takes time. I mean, you and got I don't three, have. Yeah, you got three days. Is there anything? Is there any way we can expedite this process? I have people I can blackmail, but that also takes time. We also don't know if they're actually them. Yeah, that too. To be fair, I didn't really fuck around with the guards too much. Learned secrets about them. Didn't really. Uh, get in their business unless it was really for my own benefit. You save that sort of stuff when you get your hand caught in the cookie jar. You, you, know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, blue. We're both blue. We're friends, right? Insight. Yeah, go ahead. 20. 20. Oh, wow, my... Fuck this dice. This dice is going away. <laughs> no, 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 no. Save it. <laughs> Where do you get the switch out, Dyson? We can't. Hossrod very clearly, I mean, the save on this is pretty good. Hossrod very clearly has avoided arrest using blackmail. This That does not surprise you in any capacity. Sure. But I'm more but concerned. You get, yeah. You get the sense that he saves his guard blackmail to get out of being arrested. Right, but how how is he holding up? He seems to... The, the whole blue we're friends thing is, is a little questionable. He is nervous as fuck. You've actually never seen him this nervous un until like, his sister was involved. You get the sense he is conflicted mm -hmm. whether to be his own lazy self or to really step up his shit right now. Greckles will push a thousand gold in his hand. Can you get it done in three days? Greckles. He puts the money back. They took Meryl. This is personal. Nice. I was, I was hoping. I was yes. so hoping. For yep, I was like, yeah. thank you. Oh, Character that's development. Good. That's good. He pushes the money back. Oh, that is, that's, oh. Depth. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Character depth. All right, Panic, get All back right. down here. All just, right. If there's, if there's anything else oh. we can do, just let us know. Just give me time. All right, the rest of you guys meet downstairs. What's your cool. plan? Uh, Road panic. So, uh, uh, can, can we talk above game real fast here? Sure. All right. Okay, so, yeah, so, so it looks like there's two plans right now. There are two different directions we can go. The underdark is one of them. High district is the other one. There's we can do both because we can oh, literally do both. God. No, we can literally do both. But here's the thing: Do we split the party oh. and do them simultaneously, or do we do them both separately as a whole group? So I have I... a terrible idea. Oh, that is a party. No, no, no. I... I'm, I'm, I'm asking everybody and the DM because Monty's been very kind to us. Tell being very kind. You to us may about... split the party if you so wish. Whether or not that's a good idea, that is your decision to make. And this is the let's... one that. Mm -hmm. that let's put. Like it... a... I have a way. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to interrupt. Go ahead. Go yeah, I have go a way it. where I can be, I can be completely unseen by these guys, but I have to go alone if I do it. No, that's too risky. That's too risky. I, I. Oh shit! Hang on. Uh, I have, I have a spell in my repertoire called non-detection, which basically makes oh, me that's immune a great spell, yeah. from scrying magic. Yep. Here's here's if, what if, here was this was Greckles, gonna be my idea. If Greckles cast invisibility on me, I can mm -hmm. get into the into the sewers no problem. Yep. I mean, getting through the sewers is easy. There's literally a manhole like right next to your place. But people people seeing him do it. You mm -hmm. also have Scarbles, who has holes fucking everywhere. I was about to say, yep. could we just utilize Scarbles to dig a hole? Scarbles, I need to borrow your hole. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, and it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, guys, just the bad one tonight. Apparently. Listen, like, yeah, yeah, but I expect so... it from Connor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so my idea was, if you four go down there because that's kind of your shtick. Um. I could go with Kay and potentially Willow to the high district, high, high, high district, and if Zito gives me that pick, 
I'll at least be able to test people so I don't fuck up while the four of you aren't around if you're going somewhere where you know is safe. If they don't if arrest not, you for trespassing. Huh? If they don't arrest you for trespassing. I can't get if, – if I get in, I'm not trespassing. Let me put it that way. They turned you away at the door before. I There's know. There's no other way to get in the high district than going through a gate. Well, we're going to see what I'm happens because I can't go, to, I can't go down there. I'm magically worded as well. Also, Willow is not leaving this room. Oh, Jesus, Mary Joseph. Okay, that's, uh, that's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah, that's good Makes enough. sense. She, she is, she's in the thick of it right now. She, they took her fucking fiancé. She's really trying to figure shit out right now. Yeah. They took her fiancé. They <laughs> took <laughs> his roommate. <laughs> <laughs> and now <laughs> it's personal. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies in <laughs> Martin Scorsese <laughs> directs. He's giving you Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> I love how in an interview he unironically anyway. said, I'm not opposed to going to space. <laughs> <laughs> so after that Rick and Morty episode, so, I can never oh. watch another movie again. I can't. <laughs> All right. So what's what's the plan here? There, I, uh, I say the four of you I, for sure go down. I... This is the DM talking, and this is totally, like, I'm not suggesting this. It's just what I want to see. I would love to fucking see Remy meet Everyman so much. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> oh, that would be good yeah. money to have. Remy's never been to the to, to the deep down. So, the no. But he also promised Kay he wasn't going to do anything shady. So it well, doesn't sound like well, this is on the up oh, and up. Well, I'm sorry, but desperate times call for desperate it's, fucking uh, measures. Oh, well, I guess I, you're, you're right. Remy can't. Do Kay doesn't want to do a crime. That's what Kay wants. You guys can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, you're right. You're right, Bo Bosco. You should totally hold yourself up to the standards to an imaginary character. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would do crime. I Remy wouldn't do crime. I, I know, and that's and that's exactly it. But we're kind of in a. a, a I mean, I, mean, I totally I, wouldn't I, do crime live say, on stream with I, I'm gonna be honest with witnesses. You. We, Monty has put us in a position where I'm going to be honest with you. The ends might justify the means a little bit, a smidge. Oh no, a Remy! Smidge. Remy will break some rules, but he doesn't need to break the like you we're, guys got this we're, under we're control. We're in an ends justify the means kind of situation, so it's really the question of how much we want to bend I will the say ends. This, in terms of timing, I would like you guys to stick together okay. if you could. Then okay. let's go to the underdark. Oh, first. Then let's do this. Go well, down. then there, yeah. Then that that settles in. Well, I. I have no way to. I have no way to hide us from scrying if but if we're all going. You to... have a scarbles hole that will get you to the to the sewers. Mm -hmm. That is true. But there's like uh... there are three to pick from because <laughs> scarbles. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh god! <laughs> Good old scarbles. Gotta love her. Yeah. Um. She, it will take her some time to widen them out a little bit. How much time? Probably about like thirty minutes. Oh, that's hey, not bad. hey, Monty, yeah. enough time yes. to eat. But, well, that yeah, that. And also, uh, is there anybody who's about Remy's size in this entire place? I mean, um, hi. I no, you're Lewis you're a little Strog. smaller. Louis Strog about be probably be about the same height as you. Apparently, based on all the artwork, guy. Then I need if, if this is actually going to be our that's plan, fair. then I need to talk to him real soon. All right, you walk up to Louis Drog, who's just been keeping his his eyes, quote unquote, outside, staring out at the city street. He's been very vigilant. Like, I'm, I'm, ju I'm just imagining. Cool I'm just guy. imagining Louis Strog is just got his eye st sticking around. He's opened up the blinds, like just two blinds separated, just enough to see his visor. <laughs> just every minute, yeah. he just opens it up for a second and closes it. Just... Have I ever heard this dude's name? Like, did you have you said it in front of me? Uh, you know his name, Louis Strog. Yeah. Okay. He's just one of our guards. He's one of your guys' guards. He's Very not a weird. he's not a knight, is he? Oh, he's a he lot of things. He looks knight-ish. He's got like a very nice helmet and very decent looking armor. He's but a he's, lot of things. Got it. He's a, he's very strange. The one thing notably, you have not seen this man sleep ever. That's terrible. Is he an elf? <laughs> you have no idea. You oh, can't man. tell what he looks like under the helmet. So. Oh my goodness! All right, because that would have made sense if he was pointy eared but okay i would try to ravel this mystery unravel this mystery i would love to see it <laughs> no i i don't got time to unravel this mystery we got shit to do uh, right, pardon me time. uh sir lewis Strog. um just lewis Strog is okay uh yes of course you wouldn't by any chance happen to have a spare suit of armor by any chance would you uh if a helmet could sweat <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting too chivalrous for this shit it's called condomsation um, <sighs> wow. You are already wearing armor. No, I need something that's not as obvious and marked with my house sigil. Oh, um. Look, I'll take robes and clothing of. I'll just 
Um, uh, Kiwi. He watches Kiwi. He's like, he's just shoveling pancakes into his mouth. He's just like, ah! And uh, Louis Stark kind of points to the window and goes, just, can you keep a watch for a second? And Kiwi kind of runs over and sits up on the stool and just kind of like stares out the window. Wobbles. Um, Louis Strog kind of uh, begins to take off his armor. Um, and you basically have, uh, what does he wear? I can't remember what he wears. Can we exchange armor? Like, can I give him mine in oh, return? Oh, you, you, you best yeah. not. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, above, above, above game, can we tell, did, did we ever, above game, have we told you what Louis Strog actually is? No, no, no oh, we don't. Don't tell him. Don't okay, tell him. Okay, okay. Tell so, so, so we gotta make sure one thing doesn't happen, but I think we're all in the no on that. Uh, he is wearing chainmail. Okay. So There's kind of like a breastplate with chainmail on it. Got it. Uh, okay. So chainmail is AC 16, okay. and your strength, your stealth is at disadvantage. Got it. Cool. So I think I'm pretty much where I am. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, he easy yeah. enough. He even gives you the gloves and everything. So we're basically um, just gonna do an armor exchange. So he's gonna look like out. I, I mean, he, I ass- he does not relinquish the helmet. You do not get the helmet. That is fine. My helmet would not have any of the markings on it. Yeah. So you're 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 good to go. Do, time cool. out. Do we see any fleshy bits on Louis Strong? Yeah, he's got hands and okay. like a chest. He's yeah. got man hands, man body, he, man legs. He's, he's pretty built. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, it's human. They don't, they don't seem like weird or atrophied or something. Roll a medicine check. I'm very curious about that. Okay. Boy, not with that roll. I imagine. No. no. Let's find out. Oh, oh, oh. So ab- above uh, well. game, because I feel like people are confused. <laughs> I have listened to other episodes, so I know what the deal is. Like, I know why he can't take the helmet off, but. Um, he has no idea. But uh, you, he looks like a normal person. Got you know? it. All right. He's, he's got some musculature to him, but he very clearly isn't like beefcake. He's just like a built soldier type. But yeah, he takes Remy's armor, which very much, it kind of matches with the helmet a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but it's definitely a little bit more gaudy on him, but he, he accepts it and he wears it. Uh, you do have a very incomplete inconspicuous set of chainmail that you've done, I imagine. Yes. Um, you're ready to go. Let's do Today, it. Louis Strong, you are now I Remus Corbo. I, I, I just want to be Louis Strong this time. Pardon? I, I, I said that above game as a joke. Oh, shit. Well, sorry. <laughs> That's a, Remy would say, pardon? Uh, Nothing. Never mind. Uh, I didn't. Uh, right. I thank you for your assistance. Yeah, anytime. Just never put on the helmet. Your helmet? Yes. Just never, ever. Understood. Insight. Sure. The fuck? <laughs> Now one. <laughs> it smells. Oh my god. It must smell real bad in there. <laughs> yeah, it clearly that's off. gotta be a bad smell. He's gotta have. He must be breathing a lot, so it's all moist in there. Ugh. That, so as that you makes guys, sense. as you guys prepare yourselves and sit down into the Scarbles hole, we're gonna take a break. Yay! Cool. Yay. Right, one second. Yay. Right wow, what a cool session this has been. Yeah, this I'm, I'm, I'm finding it intriguing how you guys are going to figure this the fuck out. Because, like, I, Connor can attest to me when I was preparing yesterday. I'm like, I don't even know what to fucking prepare. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's why you asked us what we wanted to do. <laughs> Re- yeah. Remy Re- 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 like, looks at the helmet. You must be really ugly under there. <laughs> right? Go <laughs> go to the bathroom and go get your water and shit. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right 500 bits. Taka, taka, taka. You have been ducking me for a week now, so I come here just to see the next end. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What in the world? Uh, this won't do. I have already put my bits down past the next show. Uh, with my Extra Life Wrestling title hand, my open challenge to see you soon. Nerdy Notion, I am confused by your message, but Kurt's very sick, so please forgive him. Also, hi, guys. I guess this is the halftime show. Are you staying here, Connor? Uh, no. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm leaving. I, no, wow. I just, I just check, I just, I just check my water bottle, and I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah, now I gotta go fill it up. All right, bye. Thanks for playing. Bye. 
Hi, guys. How's it going? Man, Remy had a role play moment with two people he doesn't talk to a lot. Sweet. This is great. What up, Pimp Him? 1,417 of you beautiful people. Good to see you. Bosco o'clock. Whoa, random man with a tier one subs to 10 people. Good grief. It is crazy up in here. Dude, random man, thank you. Hopefully no relation to every man. That'd be terrifying. Where's the music, Bosco? I mean, I could blast music over my microphone, but that would sound terrible. If Remy put on the helmet, would he have been gone? I mean, based on what I know from other episodes about that helmet, it would not have been a good time for anybody. So. Bizarre Coyote, thank you for the tier one subscription. 15 months. Good looking out, dude. I see the bull, kitty. Good looking out. Have a nice night. I'm off. Well, have a good one, Random. We appreciate those uh, 10 gift subs. Much appreciated. Burnout Vaughn. Remy passed the charisma roll, but he has to meet every man. How many more of those does he got in him? Look, Burnout, how many more do you got in you? Because you got to take a shot every time he fails, apparently. Your game, not mine. I don't condone that. Kamori with the 300 bits. Been watching since before the campaign. And y'all inspired me to start writing a campaign where Pope Francis is a vampire and the Vatican is his lair. Oh, dear. Uh, shiny lamp with 100 bits. Monty, if this doesn't end with the group fighting a Bernaloth, I'll be very disappointed. Don't put that on us. Why would you do that? War Drone, thank you for the tier one subscription for 28 months. The helmet would not fit you, Remy. How do you know? How do you know? 2,000 bits from Pyrotherian. I've been do DMing for nearly five years, and there's a constant concern I have when I act out my regular NPCs that I have to ask you all about. How do you avoid flanderizing your characters? Do you ever worry about it? Mm. Wow. That's a, that's a heavy question. Um, I guess I can... I guess I can try to answer that. Uh, but what I try to do is I guess try to have motivations for all of my significant NPCs and I have to understand what they want in a given scene or in the overall arcing part of the story. And one of the things you'll notice that Monty does is the world moves around while we're doing stuff. So for example, relationships happen and people develop. So instead of keeping somebody in the same pocket, like, oh, I have this NPC wizard who's kind of like snooty and worried about cleaning stuff all the time. If that's all he ever is, he becomes Johnny One Note. So all you have to do is have your characters evolve with their desires in the world as stuff happens. That's would be my recommendation because that keeps them interesting and fresh because we all want to develop Violet Bird with 100 bits. I started watching this with my boyfriend uh, when I started dating a year ago and almost three months ago. Uh, here to many more months of adventure. Well, thank you, Violet. Good looking out. Samurai 5461. Hey, guys. Appreciate all you do. You inspired me to write a new NPC every day this semester. Dude, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. That is awesome. That is very cool. Yeah, That's Zane hard, 250 hard. with the 200 bits. Hey, Bosco, I start my voice acting classes on March 14th. Let's go, Zane. Get it done. That's what I'm talking about. Good on you. 500 bits from Trainer Shoshiro. Been a rough day. Battery in the car died. Damn, lost my nice. voice shouting into a microphone. But hey. At least I get to giggle like an idiot listening to y'all. Yeah, you don't have to blow your voice out listening to us. At least I hope you don't. Unless you scream at the screen. No, that was really dumb! Then you can absolutely scream at the screen, but I wouldn't recommend it. Boo Radley with 100 bits. Psst, Bosco, look at the fan art channel on Discord, and apologies in advance. <sighs> I don't want to do this. Uh, Nerdy Notion Z with the 200 bits. Bosco, I am raising funds for Extra Life and been doing it. Wrestling promos on Twitter, just being dumb to bring attention to charity. Well, good on you for helping charity. I'm uh, I'm very much a big supporter of charity and charity events. That's very much true. Hey, dude. Hi, welcome back, Kurt. Thanks. Save you. your voice. I, Save your voice. I think I've been noticing how strategic I've been today. <laughs> you have been. Save your voice. You're talking to me right now. Serenade of the Eclipse with a thousand bits. Dark thought. A hostage is only useful. If your mm. opponents care, if they live. See, you don't. <laughs> ha, ha, boy, don't tell that to Hasrod or fucking panic. Uh, Especially Hasrod. He pushed money back. Yeah, that that's, shit, oh, that's true. <laughs> Elated Megalodon with 100 bits. Um, Did I hear that the mask doesn't give off a magical aura? 
I think this can be easily solved with some arts and crafts. Some arts and crafts. Interesting. Zako Duo with a tier one sub to Boo Radley, an mm. actual person. Thank you, Zako, for remembering how to properly <laughs> sub people that are in the chat. Much appreciated. And 100 bits from uh, Evelyn Now Icky. Bosco. Yes. Did you see? I was told to look. I will when I'm. I'm posting it in memes right okay. now. All right, I'm going to grab both versions. Great. Of oh it. my oh. God! <laughs> And my and my and my. Oh my god! I have my ah! purse. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I know the. I love that. Oh I, I love that. Man. I love that. Essentially, Remy's just our. It, I love all the. <laughs> We got a. Can we link that? Can, can people, can, is it being linked? People can go. If you, no, no, no. People it, need to no, join the Discord and go to the, the fan Discord art section. Go to the fan art section. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you, you want to see what is going on. Join the Discord, which I will type a link to right now. Do it. For the also, just to finish reading out these bits real quick, can't wait to see how Remy and Everyman interact. Sleep is for the week with 100 bits. Thank you. Big Daddy Boneless with the 1,000 bits after leaving my D&D group due to some toxic table culture. You guys have fed my need for D&D. While I prepare to join my first Pathfinder game this Saturday, only the gods know what I would do to have a group like this and a DM like Monty. Love you guys. Bam. You know, it, it, I do good, feel good table. Good table etiquette starts with you, honestly. It does. My experience is like whenever I usually played is that like I. I always say this whenever you make a character in anything, always have them, always make sure every character you make has a reason to work with others. Yeah, yeah otherwise you're going to be that lone wolf that nobody wants and in a campaign. That is every, oh my God, you have a bounty hunter character? Say no more. Great, I'm sure this will. Hey, hey, shut up. Oss is a bounty hunter, but he's a good boy. No, no, no. Okay, okay, yeah, there's there's a, there, 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 a reason. There is a default give him a thing. reason to work with people. There is a default character people come up with for their own solo, for their own solo stories, but when in joint stories, a lot of people just... <laughs> It's interesting. My first, my first Adventures League character was literally a glorified <clears throat> cheerleader. He literally was just like the, the fucking hype guy for everybody else, and it was the best. Yeah. Didn't yeah. really fit well in a Curse of Strahd game, but Bulith tried his best. Is so, everybody you know? back, by the way? Yeah, I was going to ask. Are we all yeah, back? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scarfing down my magic. Oh, no. I got two I more back. bits for you. Frost Dragon 28 with 300 bits. Uh, may the dice be in your favor. I can't stay, but have fun. Well, thank you for popping by and Defective Sheep. With a message for Connor with 200 bits. Hey, Bosco, could you tell Connor, as I am doing now, that regardless of level, a fighter is a lot squishier when they're alone than most people think. Well, yeah, so is literally everybody. That's just, that's how that works. Uh, has 82 unexpectables, 500 bits. There have been multiple times you guys have said, do not watch your show if you have something to work on. However, do you not believe that we can watch and listen at the same time? Well, look, if, no. if, you, if, look you have, if, if you have to choose between one or the other, choose your education first. That's my yes. philosophy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, if don't, you can multitask, and do, great. Not, do not trick yourself into thinking, oh, I can do both when you very clearly cannot, because I've seen that happen. Most so, people please. cannot. So if you're listening to the show, chances are your work is not being as productive as it could be. Just mm -hmm. turn on some synth wave and make something of yourself. So you have two oh, options. Turn on the ferret dancing music. Get your work done early or plan for it to be done late if you want to watch the show. I found um, the actual song that I come. Oh from. yeah, the animation. And I love that the is... first comment on YouTube is "F for everyone who can't find this song." <laughs> but all right, I think that's all the bits, so we're gonna get back all to right, it. All right, let's get back mm. to it. Um, so, yes. Before we shut choose... up, panic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. The shutdown. Wow. I said panic, Connor. You can talk. Mm. Oh, so before we choose a hole. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. There's, there's Connor. There so, is. when, when we've noticed that someone's been being scried on, mm -hmm. does the thing that we see, like the the invisible eyeball, does it usually focus on one person or what? It's like a little moat. It's like a little, like almost like glowing orb in the sky, like a security camera. It kind of sits yeah. and watches. But. From what we know, it doesn't really focus on any one particular person or thing. You correct? can't tell I, I know, from it. Yeah, I know there is a there is a wisdom uh, yeah there's a wisdom saving throw involved from the person being scryed on. So I think it could maybe be any of you. Using, really. Yeah, they're using they're using an object. I think. Mm. They can also have just seen you as well. 
Okay, so who is taking what? What you got? The wine. wine? Uh, I will go. I will go to the back. I will grab a bottle of of nice wine. Question I will for all of you. Watch out. What exactly are we going? Oh, Remy, you've never been to um. The underbelly. The underbelly, have the you? The underground. There's Under a good reason me. I don't go there, so yes, I have never been. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm we stay away from Kay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kay's up, Kay's up in the main area of the tavern. She's staying at the tavern, uh, but she said if there's any issues, um, you know. Well, well they, well, they do that. Oh, I'm actually, actually going to go to... She has... Hold on. Okay. Uh, she actually has a familiar. I completely forgot about oh, this. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Bad. It is a bat. Yeah, she has a bat familiar. Uh, yeah. She she will give the bat. Who wants the bat? Who wants <laughs> Kay's bat? Who the fuck wants the babysitter I, bat? I will. Remy will take it. Okay, oh. you have the babysitter bat. It is a, um, oh God, what are they called? It's very cute. Uh, Fruit bat? The Honduran no. uh, the Honduran bat? The you little just, the little white one? You just, said a, you just said a babysitter bat. Babysitter bat. The wide uh, wing screamer bat? It is, it is a painted bat. Uh, All of those. Up now. Yeah, they're like orange. It's like bright they, orange. They, they literally look like like Halloween times infinity. Oh, that's all... cute. I'm Aww. Betty. I'm posting a picture of it. They in, really in, do in, look like Halloween. Games. Holy crap. They work? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 404 not found. Oopsie, my bad. Here, you Here go. I got you. I got you, fam. There you go. Oh, oh. God. Yeah. That's cool looking. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Yeah, that's just Halloween. That was palette. the exact picture I was going to use, Mom. Yeah, I totally trust that. <laughs> that's just a Halloween palette. That's what that is. <laughs> yep. It's cute. Mm. Money, really quick. Um, mm. While they're doing that, uh, Greco's actually going to go to Ty to see if we can get some supplies for the road. Okay, yeah, get some rations. I'd say everyone write in two rations. In two nice. <laughs> Let's see. Where does that put me? Because we all keep forgetting oh, I'm that. I'm, well, I'm at 16 right now, so I'm in Jesus, six. dude. I stock them. He doesn't I'm... travel that much. Yeah, it's true. Well, we also fair. get re-upped I... when we got back, so. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, that being said, um, yeah, so. There was two rations? Two rations. Yeah. Two rations apiece, yeah. Basically okay. a day lunch you guys got. Yeah. So I understand we're going to this underbelly place, but who specifically is your contact that lives down there? The leader. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You heard me. You uh, know the leader of the underbelly? It's a lot deeper than that. When we first came to the city, we, uh, we found ourselves in the company of them. But as time went on, we went down less and less and focused more up here. But it seems that the situation has pushed us to head on back down there again. Luckily, we can always thank Scarbles for the route down there, right? Scarbles? What? Ah! You, ah you. Hi, Scarbles. How's it going? Look, this is as far as I'm going. I'm going back up to the tavern. God, this place gives me the heebie jeebies. No, exactly. And also a rash. Okay, don't. De definitely get that look at you. What? It gives you a what? A rash. She watches like her face is like blowing up with blisters like oh, in real right. time. Oh, oh, oh. Scarble, Scarble. <laughs> you gotta go get that taken care of. Take care of yourself. Just make sure you're safe, okay? Remind me again why you're dragging me down here. Because we don't want to. Okay. I ain't got going. <clears throat> you watch as she like climbs Jesus. up the hole. Remy, because you're a part of this now, whether you want to or not. Oh, great. I could have been on guard duty. You guys make your way through the sewers. <sighs> so, you guys have traveled to the underbelly before. Uh, whoever you want to choose amongst you may make a survival check to find your way through the underbelly. I will say, I know this place the best. Yeah. I believe you gave me something. Boy, if only I could help. <gasps> oh, I'll give you assistance then, because I have proficiency. Okay. Panic does know this place the best. I think you gave me a, a benefit. I think like you have a... I rolled a natural twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you just roll with advantage. So I can just. Yeah. I'll just guide us. Roll with advantage, and uh, the save on this will be very low. It is still a sewer. It is still very like hard to maneuver in. <laughs> wow. No, but you're 19. fine. So twenty two actually. You're you're good to go. Right, twenty two. Uh, it takes you guys a solid twenty minutes of walking. Um, given that it is kind of colder now, there's more water down there. Um, eventually you guys begin to hear the shouts and the screams and the flaying and the flesh of the Crimson Pit. 
uh, Remy, for you, you, through the stench of refuse and sewer water, uh, you begin to smell cheap ale and blood. As you guys make your way into the main area, the sort of cistern chamber of the underbelly, the sconces on the walls flickering, shadows dancing among all the rough and tumble, thieving, murderous, smuggling individuals that populate this darkened corner of Alabas. I grab Remy and like I pull him hey. down to like get at least get to my voice, uh, get to my mouth level. Best not say where you come from here. There's a I reason pat I... I pat him on the cheek. There's a reason I didn't want to come down here. They eat people hey, like me alive. Okay, whatever you say, bud. <laughs> hey, Monty, guess what? What? I just lit my Black Hound Tavern candle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, man, that really does smell like whiskey. Hey, Holy Monty. shit. Yes. Right. <gasps> well, while we're down here, I am keeping an eye out for a new set of thieves tool. Uh, okay. As you look around, you look for Merchant, the, the, the kobold. Yeah. You can't find him in this crowd. But you do see kind of sitting in the corner is a um, a goblin, a one-eyed goblin, female goblin. Looks kind of older, um, and she's kind of sitting cross-legged in front of this mat where she's kind of got all these trinkets and odds and ends. And she's like, I got your scrolls of detect thoughts, detect thoughts, only 500 gold pieces. <laughs> I got two foil hats that'll read your mind. <laughs> Man, that's a spell. That, 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 that's a spell everyone needs to tech thought. I am actually very curious. What what all wares do they have? Uh, you see that there are necromancy scrolls. Mm -hmm. Um, there is tech thought scrolls. Oh no, not necromancy. Yeah, and we're talking like illegal shit. Oh um, god. And there is like crowbars, pittens, and there is thieves tools there, picks and locks and things like that. I would actually love to take the thieves tools and the crowbar. All right. Um, she kind of looks it over and she kind of looks you up and down. Roll an intimidation check for me. <laughs> Photorealistic Greckle strolls on up. Nope. Seven. I have rolled. I have rolled single digits I, all night. No, Ooh, no, I feel your pain. You know in cartoons that they have like the like the goofy goober kind of like like yeah. big <laughs> What's cheeks. Look our car. <laughs> um, she kind of looks you up and down and she goes, yeah, um, fifty gold pieces for the lock pick. Damn. I'm actually gonna. I actually want to look oh, look up and down. What are these things? Are these things? Rusted? Do they look good? They are shit. They are very easily pawned. Uh, the scrolls at the edges are tattered. You're not even sure if half of them are usable. The lock picks are like okay, but they're just okay. What are you pulling with this kind of crap? Fifty gold for this? I could do better picking with my toenails. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Twenty three. Oh. Both sides. <laughs> I, I see you got a keen bird's eye. Uh, five gold pieces. Friend yeah. discount. Yeah, that's better. Here you go. Mm -hmm. And the crowbar, uh, you know what? You seem like a friend. How about another five gold pieces for that? Mm. Fine. Pleasure doing business. I want to roll up. You want to roll up? I want to roll on up to the merchant. All right. Oh, arrows. Poison? I got poison. You can put it on arrows. You can put it on your toast. What do you, you want got? to die? Yeah, let me take a look here. Let me take a look at what I got for poison. What kind of poison? I'm actually what curious about this. Are going to be able to buy any of this? Yeah, I'm very curious about this. You have... I mean, if you want injury base, I got some drow poison. I have... Mm. Well, I was just, yeah, we got, let's see what else I got. Serpent venom, wyvern poison, but this is the, this is the expensive shit. How much is expensive? Uh, we're talking 2,800 gold pieces mm. for the wyvern poison. How much money do I have? Uh, I only have 500 bucks. Uh, all right, well. Lay away. Uh, you got, all right, I just want something that will slow him down, a.k.a. 
do you have cut, move, speed in half? Uh, I'm just gonna look here. I can just double check these. Also, please, I want to know all about all these poisons. So the serpent venom. venom uh, if a creature subjected to this poison must make a DC 11 Constitution saving throw, taking just damage. The okay. drow poison inflicts them with poison. The poisoned. Effect. That's what I poison want. Poison is fucking brutal. That is yeah. what I want. Yeah. Uh, it has to make a DC 13 constitution saving throw or be poisoned for one hour. Give that, that. If the saving throw is failed by five or more, the creature is also unconscious while poisoned this way. Cool. Jeez, give it to me. I want that. So the drow poison from this cellar is a thousand gold pieces. Pit. But mm. you could bargain. She seems reasonable. You also have a very rich friend. Who needs Remus to not exp gold. Who needs to not tell the everyone around that they're rich? Exactly, which is why I'm not saying it in character. <laughs> oh man, I mean, if you want so someone oh, dead, if, if, you if, gotta go with the draw poison. She gotta shake the hold, bottle. Hold on, I tell, I, I, I take her hand and I put it down on the table. Clutch onto this. I'll be right back. Yeah, you will. What else was there? The drow poison, the the um, wyvern uh, poison, and the wyvern, wyvern poison, and the serpent venom. So the serpent venom just does damage. Mm. The wyvern poison uh, is it does uh, a lot of damage. I'm a task goes back to everyone else. I'm going to do something that pains me that I have to ask. I need money. How much? I need 500 more. <laughs> Monty, Monty, how much was the Serpent Venom? The Serpent Venom, uh, I don't think I gave you a price for that one. Never, that there was no price for the Serpent yet. Yeah, that one's, that one's like 500 gold pieces. It's cheap. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, Remy wouldn't take anything with him. He wouldn't have his money on him. Was there was there any? By the way, uh, before people get mad at me, I know this isn't the actual price, but this is the Alavast. Oh, whatever. Price. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. I'm players, sure people can they can get over it. The players do not care at all. Yeah. Uh, was there was there any? Um, if they if they pass the con save of the serpent venom, does it deal any additional? Like, does it do any minor damage, or is it just one or the other? Uh, also, half, they take half damage. They take uh, three D six poison damage and half as much on a on a success. I will, I will, I will take that poison for five hundred. What was the damage? Uh, that was three D six poison damage. Hey, Monty. And the saving throw to that is a DC eleven. Okie doke. Hey, Monty. Hi. So Remy doesn't have any of his actual stuff on him. Will you just for flavor allow me to conjure the money into my hand and hand it to? That's task. fine. Yeah, you, you carry. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. So, Remy will walk up to Task. He will give you one of those like firm handshakes, yeah, and go. I believe you're getting ripped off, and you will feel gold just kind of form in your hand as you get 500 gold pieces. Elder Rich Knight. <laughs> Are the freaking best. Nice. It pains me to ask for money, you know this. I usually make sure that everyone here is well equipped, and unfortunately at my own disadvantage. Remy kind of shrugs and then drapes back into the darkness. I head back yeah. over, Jeez. and I, 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 I tell her, I have the money, but maybe if I give her something in return, we mm. could sweeten the deal to lower the price. And what do you have to sweeten? I have a vial of limestone and blood. I'm going to f I'm going to flavor to her that this is blood found in the deepest underdark under Dracadia. It's it's what blood? It's a vial of limestone and blood. It's a mixture. Mm, roll a deception check. All right. Oh, oh, okay. You could ask your criminal friend. Well, <laughs> like he, asked friend. The, he asked the, yeah, he came to the guy with the money before the criminal. <laughs> Unfortunately, she rolled a 12. She kind of narrows her eyes and goes, I'm only really interested in money. Specifically, your money. Well, fuck's sake. All right, fine. Shitty dice. Give her the money. Let me get the poison. All right, you got a, you got a vial of drow poison. You could probably use that on about... 
let's uh, say five arrows. It's very small. And the poison I got for what one? But here's the other thing you could do, Task, is yeah. you could study it to try to like create something Rep similar. Yeah. Mm. You do have a researcher who can research that. For exactly, you. I that's would fair. give them that. Would Willow be willing to do that? That's not Willow. That's in Oh, that's the yeah. Sorry. That's the other guy. That's right. So many people that work for us now. I was gonna say we need a list. Oh wait, we have a list. All right, let's let's, let's fucking continue move. on. Unless somebody else yeah, would like right. to bargain and take my money. As you are Good. looking in this area, Remy, you see there's like this recessed pit in the center. Obviously, a place for extra water to go. And you see, currently engaged in combat is a massive tiefling man with large horns and this serrated mm. blade. Currently oh fighting what appears to be like a um, like a Gila monster, like lizard folk guy, mm -hmm. uh, who's wielding two scimitars. And you watch as the Gila monster guy kind of like runs his mouth across the scimitars and goes running into combat. And as you watch the two of them collide, there's just kind of this flourish, and the Gila monster like lizard folk has his head decapitated off of his body instantly almost like it's like upon running in he just is decapitated he's fucking dead yes okay so that dude knows what he's doing and the tiefling kind of takes his sword and you hear it as it goes into the sheath because it is serrated like a bread knife it kind of goes <laughs> until it goes inside and you watch as people kind of erupt into applause and start exchanging betting money um, and you watch this tiefling kind of gets out of the ring and walks over to a spot. And as he's about to sit down, he notices all of you. Mm. Forky flexes the best he can. Because <laughs> it's... Look uh, Remy's... Who's the closest to him? Probably Panic or, or Task. Probably Panic. He'll be leading the way. I believe the large tiefling has noticed us. We should keep moving. Uh, yes, that's... um. <clears throat> we need to talk to him. Um, wait for... Hello, Tiango. What? It's it's fine, Rem. Just play along. You walk up to to Tiengo. <clears throat> yeah. I heard you were coming. Yes, I believe we are being expected. Are we free to walk in? He kind of scans you over. I recognize those four. Who are you? And he jabs a finger towards the center of your your breastplate, uh, Remy. And it's very like. It's not like, like, ooh, I'm being scary. Like, you l legitimately have to, like, brace yourself as it just pokes you. I'm with them. Are you afraid nope. of this man? Oh. Not that's even a, a little that's bit. That's a terrible idea. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. If the DM asks you if you're afraid, you say yes! You say yes! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Are you gods? No. 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 I love that moment and the, the reaction to One it. One of my if, favorite movies. It's, it's, it's so good. Such, the, the Bill Murray's line response to it is that if a god asks you if you're a god, you say yes. Yes. <laughs> Look, above game, I know what I'm supposed to do. Let me role play the character. I know, I know. Tiengo, Tiengo looks you up and down and looks towards you, panic, and goes, is he a bodyguard, a mercenary? Mercenary. Works with us from time to time. I, I want to him. fight him. Wow. To... Tiago, we want and need him alive. Tiago, we're busy oh. right now. In the future, I won't though. I break him. What? what? We need him to be not broken for what we're doing, though, Tiago. Roll a persuasion check for you with disadvantage. I've got I've got a thing to follow up. Really? It, 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 persuasion check with disadvantage. Persuasion with disadvantage. I was you're not persuading trying. Him. No. <laughs> was not it's, trying fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got you're a good. You're trying line. to convince him not to fight Remy. He wants to fight Remy. Four. You said with advantage, oh. right? No, <laughs> with disadvantage. Four. Oh God. Tiang Tiango. I. We do appreciate your fighting spirit, but. We kind of want to uh, not lose out on the money that we spent on this. And we're going to lose a lot of money if he ends up dead. I'm not going to kill him. Insight. Yeah, what do you for think? Real. I would like to roll an insight just because he's kind of trying to threaten me and I'm about to smack him in the 18. face. 15. Don't do 18. it. 18. Above game, I know. He's level not okay. 
13. <laughs> oh no, he's you level sense... nope. He's level skull. You get the sense that no, he will not kill Remy, but he really wants to fight Remy. With an inside of 18, I feel safe. You don't feel safe. <laughs> but you feel like he's true to his word and not killing you. Um, the four of you have business in there, don't you? Looking like wherever they're supposed to be walking. Well, panic, guys. I can yep, stay Yep, we sure do. Uh, tell you what. How about I stay out here and uh, make sure everything's not untoward. You got a potion, Borky? Oh, I got plenty of potions. Don't you worry about me. Good. Well, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about him. Oh, I'll cover him. Don't worry. You go in there and help out panic. All right. Good luck. You'll, you'll notice that Remy is talking no trash to this man. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're just staring at each other right now. Like, yeah. I just, well, I just yeah. look over at Remy and say, good like an luck. AMA well, stare. Re Remy, Remy just saw him decapitate that guy, so he knows he's good. He just doesn't know how good, so he's not going to make it worse. So... <laughs> Uh, Panic will will slap him on the back and then sort of tap uh, tap on the back of his chainmail a little bit just to in, in sort of a somatic gesture type of way, as if asking Remy, "Do you need some help of the magic persuasion?" That would be cheating. No. Okay. If it's anything I learned in Alabas, being honorable gets you fucking dead! <laughs> if he dies, he dies. <laughs> if he dies, <laughs> he dies. All right, you watch as Tango jumps back into the pit. <laughs> okay. In my defense, I didn't ask for this one. <laughs> no, 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 I know, oh, I know. I guess Remy's getting in the pit. All right, you jump into the pit. Roll a uh, athletics or acrobatics of your choice for how cool your entry into the pit will be. Could I just get in normally because I'm bad at all of these? <laughs> no. 14? 14, yeah, you jump in. It's all right. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Uh, you got a natural one you would have eaten shit. Uh, so I'm, I'm above game real fast. So are uh, the other guys going to be going through the door? They're going to go into the hallway, but okay. I want to do this first. Bo oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so oh I is, guess they're watching. This, is, is this, this will just be ha happening this simultaneously happening. then? Yeah, while you guys are going in. Okay, Borky the, uh... is here on the... He is at ringside above the pit, though, watching. And All right. prepared to jump in All if right. anything untowards happens. Probably double my level, but that's okay. Hey, <laughs> roll initiative for me. Okay! I'm just going to say right now, Bosco... Nine! There are monsters that are CR 30. I Believe me, I know. <laughs> that's why I said yeah. at least double. Jesus. It's all right. It's a good roleplay moment. Let me have this. Please, sir, I want some more. <laughs> Please, sir, I want some more. <laughs> Remy, are you sure you want to do this? Doesn't answer. Shit, you actually beat out his initiative. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Kick his ass, Remy. All right, Remy, you are up first. Uh, Before I right. walk in. Do I, do I have my sword and shield or a yes, sword and shield? You from... have your weapons on you. So okay, you have cool. every, everything you usually would have. Uh... Having seen what he just did when that guy ran in, uh, Remy's going to pull out his sword, equip his shield, and use the dodge action. And hey. then and then he will motion with his sword for the big guy to come on over. Uh, it is now Tiango's turn. Uh, he kind of cocks his head and he goes, cowardly, and he pulls out that large serrated blade. <laughs> and... You gotta imagine it comes out like a Beyblade zipper. <laughs> God, there's so much. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> right. It's not, it's, it's it more you, of a matter of if it makes what you, do I want to do? If it makes you feel any better, everyone's betting right now in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he does not pull out his sword. I'm sorry, he's what? Start, he's going to run out and punch you in the face. <laughs> he pulls out his scythe. He's death incarnate. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -oh. He pulls out his uh, Gundam and he gets inside the Gundam. He pulls out a gun. <laughs> or does he? Actually, what else does he have for a weapon? Hold oh on. <laughs> he pulls up. He pull, he, he, pull, he pulls he up. He, he pulls out a VHS tape of your first ever birthday that you're super embarrassed. And you don't want people to see because you fall on the cake. And starts playing it for he everyone to see. A particularly small Kenku and loads him into a bow. 
Yeah, he's gonna grab a stick. Fuck it. He pulls out a smaller a stick. He pulls like a pipe. Oh, now you're just trying to embarrass me. He's gonna hit me with a fucking drive pipe. What happened at the last Christmas party? Hey, that's an improvised weapon, which he might not have. That is gonna be a. Ah! Oh god. He be 27 to hit you. He pulls up a sure, stick. yeah, that'll do it. All right. He probably rolled low. All right. Disadvantage. Oh, thank God. Uh, that is going to be an 18. That will miss. Okay. Oh. As, he, as he brings down the pipe, it hits your shield and it bends, and your feet are like planted, and you get pushed back a decent five feet. Mm -hmm. And you watch as he like lifts up the, the pipe, looks towards you, and just discards the pipe. Oh, come on, the big boy guns. That ends his turn. He's going to end his turn there. It is now your turn, Remy. Okay. Question: Based on my duels and my history with them, is casting outside of any, like is any kind of casting disallowed, or does it look this like this is you're in the criminal underbelly? There are no rules. Cool. Great. Uh, I'm gonna blast him in the face with burning hands, as he will just hear Remy uh, shout out, "Ignis of right. and he has to make a. I'm assuming dexterity, dexterity saving throw? Saving it is throw. a dexterity saving throw. To which he has plus zero. Yep. Mm. That is an 11. Uh, that will fail. So he is going to take 3d6 damage. All right. All right. Halved. Because he's a tiefling. Yeah. So three damage. Three damage. Him. But I am going to blast him in the face at the very least. As you blast him in his face, he just steps forward through the fire and just kind of stares down towards you. No fear. Let's go. And on the start of his turn, what? What? you watch as the burns heal. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. Cool, he regenerates now. That's fun. That's 10 points, so he heals back to full. Great. God, he's like, You're like, yeah, I got him. And then you just watch as all the burn marks just stitch and heal. Oh, he fucking pulled his X Factor. Oh. And now he's gonna pull out the sword. Oh, God. All right. I'm readying my magic. First attack. Oh, God. He's gonna hit me like seven times. 24. Okay, because of that, uh, Remy will cry out, Clipleum Valentia! And he'll cast shield and he'll miss. All right. Nice. Second swing. How many do you have? <laughs> Probably has four or five. Right. He, has, he has two, Come unless on, he's a rolling. 20th I'm just trying to fighter. survive. Let's go. Uh, that's going to be a 30 to hit you. Son of a bitch. Okay, yes. Uh, that is going to be... Be gentle. Eight plus... That's 13. 13, 13 okay. points of damage. Okay. okay. His third swing. Okay. Come on, be low. I need you to be low. Just work that with me. That is going to be... 25. That will hit. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, that is going to be another 13 points. Okay. His fourth swing. Okay. Christ. Oh, no. God, yeah. That's, yeah. that's 30. That's too much. That's 32 to hit you. I think it is. Yeah, I think that's bigger than a 30. Uh, that is going to be... 14 points of damage to you. I'm just waiting for okay. her to say, does a 32 hit you? Like, it's a different <laughs> question. It's like, what? And uh, he's going to action surge. Oh, oh no! Great. And he's going to do four more swings. Oh, shit. Hey, great. Wait, four more? Yeah. Yeah. It's a full attack, attack round if you action surge. Uh, 22. Miss. Okay. Stay alive. Come uh, on. That is definitely gonna hit. That if is, you roll over a thirty, you're gonna hit me. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I can't be... physically within the realm of the game. There's only a 20, one way to do. Twenty-nine, I think, will hit you. But Bosco does the infinity hit. symbol. Hit what? You. Fifteen what is points. It? Fifteen points of damage. Fifteen. Oh Jesus! Yeah. All right. Third Still attack. up. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ! Uh, so Damn that's. Gonna does a sixty-nine be... hit you? Does a nice. <laughs> Plus 16. So that's 15 plus 16. That's 31 points. That's it. He's at zero. 
All right, you fall down, Christ. and the audience immediately just goes, oh, I knew it, kind of all. Borky jumps down it. immediately. Uh, yeah, Borky, you watch him fall. Borky jumps down immediately, and I take one of my potions, and I uh, put it in his mouth. <laughs> you you <laughs> open up the beat and just kind of pour it in oh, like ketchup. Hope that was worth it, Remy. Hope that was worth it. <clears throat> Borky puts him up on it. Borky just picks up Remy, puts him on his shoulders. Yeah! You definitely are still scary, Django. You watch as Tiengo kind of looks at you, Remy. Roll an insight check on Tiengo. Okay. He's sad. 22. He kind of looks at you, kind of smiles. And for the first time, Borky, you hear him say, impressive. <laughs> Borky, uh, Borky, Remy Borky gonna, raises Remy's his eyebrows one round. Borky, <laughs> Borky's eyebrows raise to the point where they leave his head. <laughs> Rem, Remy's gonna, Remy's gonna get off of Borky's shoulder once he. What, what did I heal, by the way? Did you roll it? Borky's gonna hold you steady though, because you, you just got fucked up. I did get fucked up. He's gonna have woozy legs, but what did I heal? I didn't roll it. Uh, what is a regular potion again? It's 2d4? 2d4 plus 4 is the, the, the regular. Willow. Actually, the Willow special. I thought it was plus 5 now. Actually, it's plus 5, yeah. So 2d4 yeah. plus 5. 2d4 plus 5. She's got a plus 5 ten. to intelligence. All right, I healed 10. Perfect. Um, awesome. <sighs> Remy, Remy is going to outstretch his hand. Uh, kind of like the Warriors Embrace, the forearm one. Yeah. <sighs> Tiengo just kind of looks, and immediately that sort of, like, admiration kind of dissipates, and he goes, you're not there yet. And he gets out of the ring and leaves. Neat. And he watches, he promptly sits down in his chair and pulls out a romance novel. Fantastic. I want, and he licks his finger and turns the page, like yeah, scruffy. Yeah, he does exactly that. He just licks his finger and starts flicking through. Tiengo's gonna die the way he lived. <laughs> Man, what's the what's the name of the magazine in uh in fucking uh Dragon Quest Eleven, the Ogler's Digest? Oh, God. I like to imagine that's what he's reading. Uh the book that he is reading. Actually roll a perception check, Remy and Borky, if you want to see what he's reading. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't I can't I can't read. That's right. What? Remy. Eighteen. Oh. Uh, it's called Forbidden Oath, and it's of a of like a like a clerical human looking like person like kind of like lamenting with their hand on the back of their forehead like kind of like juxtaposed it's very gaudy and very stupid looking hey the man has simple pleasure Re remy is remy is going to climb out of the pit Borky's <clears throat> helping him by the way because i'm guessing there's like a ladder yeah because remy is struggling a lot of people are actually murmuring and seem to be quite impressed that you lasted a fucking round with him <laughs> <sighs> I was so close. I was going to second win. I'm like, no, it doesn't even matter at this point with a fucking crit. Meanwhile, uh, the rest of you guys, as you head in through the hallway, that, s that familiar... Um, why can't I think of the word? Incense. There it is. Yeah. Uh, incense sort of aroma wafts through the air as you guys make your way into the, for you, Panic, a little bit more familiar uh, chamber of Avery-Man. Uh, there's been some rearranging inside of this room. Specifically, there's now bookshelf um, with books on it. Um, are they all smut? They are all smut, yeah. Fantastic. Hank <laughs> just shakes his head. Are they all cleric smut? Uh, roll a perception check. Great. <laughs> Five. Five. Uh, Panic uh, just realized he doesn't care. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, ugh, and you kind of roll your eyes. Greckle's task, if you want to, you can yes. I really don't want to. I don't care. I feel like Task wouldn't care. Yeah. Uh, I would love to know a man's weakness. 16. 16. Uh, it is not clerical smut. There is a bit. There's a decent chunk. It seems to be organized based off of things like that. Oh my that. god. It's an alphabetical um, a majority of it is tiefling related, specifically. Wow. Um, who, who would have known that Tiango's itchy fetish was so vanilla? Look, 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 look at this. Look at all the things he has. God damn it. He has Maho Sensei Najima. We should have known, guys. We should have seen this coming a mile away. You just say fucking Najima, yeah. Taka? Yeah. Anyway, back oh. to the fucking D&D &D yeah. game. Uh, so um, this, is, this is in the room that they just walked into, yes? 
Yeah, it's like it's like in the in the corner of the room. Gotcha. So this and is not it's outside. Not like, it's not like floor to ceiling bookshelf. We're talking like you know like a DVD shelf. It. Like it's not that much. Well, don't mind um, me. I'm picking my pride off the floor. Have fun, guys. Um, every man is currently sitting on the couch, uh, in their usual female form, uh, currently bringing out wine glasses. There's two, and then uh, they look up and they notice uh, you, Task, and you, Greckles, and they kind of turn to go. Oh, looks like I need a couple more. You watch as she gets up and she walks over to a uh, cabinet and pulls out two more wine glasses. She grabs one and she looks at you, Tass, and she looks at the glass and grabs one that's a little bit smaller. <laughs> Appreciate the hospitality, every man. Oh, yes, any time. After the favor you did with my son, I feel like it's justified, but don't test your luck. Never do. It's good to see you, too. So troubling things concerning to say the least can't say we've had too much trouble down here yes, if left so. unchecked it will yes that's precisely why we're down here talking with you because we feel like you may be able to help us put things back to normal we'd appreciate that and he sort of <clears throat> uncorks the wine may I he watches uh, every man kind of just takes the wants to look at what it is hmm a Merlot blend, you spoil me. Oh, well, you're worth it. Roll a persuasion S check, I guess. Smooth man. Jesus. Bam. Oh my god. It comes out of nowhere, like an RKO. <laughs> uh, persuasion, you said. Yeah. With advantage. Uh, just straight persuasion. Okay. Sorry. I, I thought you said. It. Uh, that's gonna be 24. <laughs> okay. They kind of give this smile, and they're like, that was very, very nice. Thank you. They take the Weak. wine, they kind of swirl it around, and they... Mm, very nice. So, how can I help you? Well, <clears throat> it appears as if, um, a lot of the city guard has been complicated, or not complicated, compromised. They just kind of look at you. And? Well, from what my friend Greckles here describes, they take the form of the guardsmen, but they are not the guardsmen. We cannot find them. Shapeshifters. Maybe, maybe not. It's more than just Yugoloths. It's demons and devils as well. Well, they come in pairs on some occasions. From what I know of Yugoloths, they love to play both sides. It's rather devious, really. Indeed. And another interesting thing that we've learned is that they can't go back once summoned. Go back. To their home plane. She sets down the, the wine glass. This seems like magic things. And while, yes, I myself am quite magical, I'm no expert at this. There's more. Go on. You see, one of, one of our own. A young girl, no older than 17, was taken from us, an employee of ours, mm. by these Yugoloths. And we have some leads. We need to get her back, and secretly. They have eyes on us. It's a miracle we were able to get out of our house. Unfortunately... Panic, you are very charming. And for the rest of you, this does not leave this room. Unfortunately, I can't help you directly with the guard. We have an aggrievement of sorts. But if you have any leads you think I can help you with, I'm willing to help. Uh, do we still have the sketches I made on that oh, notebook? Yeah. I, assume, I assume you're carrying that with you. Yeah, By the way, yeah. If you hear weird noises, that is my stomach. It is growling for some reason. So if you hear weird <laughs> gurgling, that's me. Half an hour, Dean. Half an hour. Half an hour. Oh, I'm fine. 
It's just my stomach just makes weird noises sometimes after I've eaten. <laughs> anyway, so I will pull out uh, the notebook and I will show them what I sketched on the wine bottle. Hmm. I have every man think about this. Every man thought very hard and got a 19. Nice. Ooh. Natural 19 plus. Four. Big think. You watch as every man stands up and walks over to what you thought was a wall, but is actually a curtain. And you watch as they take both like ends of the curtain and like toss them back in a flourishing sort of over the top dramatic way. And you see from floor to ceiling, a wine rack. Wow. Of like a full collection of various different wines. Um, it's very impressive. <laughs> um, to be fair, it just looks at a little. The ceiling of this of this particular room isn't very tall because of the nature of the sewers, but it is still like there's probably easily over three hundred different bottles of wine here. Holy yeah. shit! All different. All different. They're all God. different wines. Uh, you watch oh, as every man kind of like looks. Uh, side to side, and she she looks down and she goes, "Do you mind helping me look? Don't break anything, though." I will be as careful as possible, and I will get up and I will roll an investigation start check. Filing. Task, Greckles, panic, and I'm gonna roll for every man. You guys are gonna search these bottles of wine. Okay, <laughs> twenty double sided. Mm -hmm. uh, there's gonna be an investigation. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. Every man rolled a three, <laughs> so. Oh, Oh, every good. Man, every man's already been drinking a little bit too much of the bubbly. Well, <laughs> everybody gets distracted, like, oh, I haven't had this yet, and just kind of, like, getting distracted by their own collection. <clears throat> um, Greckles and Panic, as you guys are kind of, like, going through each one, you do manage to find a collection of unmarked bottles, with, which have just, like, a wax cap seal on them. But eventually you find one that looks identical to what you have as a drawing in this that, collection. That it, Panic? It appears to be. What is it? Uh, you watch as every man kind of The bottle is very, almost identical to uh, what you saw in Meryl's Vision, though Meryl's Vision was definitely, you know, it was a memory. It wasn't really exactly one-to-one. -one. Uh, the bottle itself mm -hmm. is smaller to you because Meryl's younger. Um, but it does have that wax seal, and it does have the M almost identical to your drawing. <clears throat> every man kind of walks here and goes, Oh, yes, that that was an interesting gift. I'm not a fan of homemade wine. Well, who did you get that from? A oh, squirrely little fellow. Scribe boy. Um, I believe he worked for Joza Muharad, a uh, member of the council. Can you spell that? Joza. G-O-Z-A-H-M-U-H-I-R-A-D. Goza Murad? Murad? Joza. Joza. Joza Murad. And he works Murad. for the council. Yeah. Oh, okay. Joza Murad. Which member of the council? Uh, Navrina doesn't really get into their affairs. Oh, uh, what that roll? Oh, uh, I believe Joza is the representative of the Almond clergy, specifically. You said you got this as a gift, every man. Did you get it directly from them at their house, or was it somewhere in between? Oh, no. It was given to me by some servant on their behest, I'm sure. Ah. Uh, You're hmm. not the only one who bring me wine to appease me. Looks over to panic. <laughs> Sweats a little. <laughs> <clears throat> well... Do know that the our our precious subordinate was taken to a warehouse, and then to I believe this very wine cellar that uh, that you have pointed out to us. Do you happen to know where which district they might be residing in? 
uh, every man kind of cocks her head and he goes, I mean, I don't know that much about Joseph myself. I mean, if you had an informant, maybe they could figure it out. We do know some people, go, panic. Go ahead, write that down on like a, excuse me, Jesus, a corner of the paper and uh, I'll write, talk to Hasrod. Underline. Uh, the situation, it, it seems to be getting fairly bad up there. It seems like most of the guards in the lower districts, at least, they're all focused on us. Hmm. If nothing else, every man, you may not even be dealing with the same people you originally made that deal with. I highly doubt that. You think if, they've been charmed then? If it's as bad as you say, and the people who made my deal is under this influence, then there's no more underbelly here. We're leaving. How? Who did... Who? I have a feeling it's not just the guards that you made a deal with. I'll panic. And you watch as every man kind of gets very uncomfortably close and kind of rests a hand on the side of your cheek. You're very handsome. That information costs a lot. How much? Roll a charisma check. <laughs> Grickles is slowly starting to lean down towards task. Yes. Oh, oh no! Oh, my God. I'm re-rolling that. Your, I'm re-rolling that. that. I'm re-rolling that. Roll. Yeah. Natural one on that charisma. That's... Good call. Good call, Panic. Good call on the re-roll. Come on, baby. No. Yeah, that was a natural one, by the way. You got uh, I'm going to reload the page real quick. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just, uh, just resetting RNG. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! Oh, no. It's Hello, so it's me, Horace, the... The panic. The Horus the panic. Horus loops. All right. Charisma check, round two. It's better. Uh, it's going to be yeah. a 19. Uh, every man turns down to you, Task, and you as well, Greckles. Leave the room. Oh, can I insight? Sure. <laughs> You're really I would like to insight as well. <laughs> All right. 21. Every man knows what they want. <laughs> 22. You're a handsome man, Panic. We oh just want, I'm, I'm more concerned about his safety than anything. It's not gonna, it, every man's not going to kill him. Like You want to be just, famous, hey, don't you? Just, just want to make... Yes. Hey, Greckles doesn't, Greckles doesn't know that. He hasn't been down here. I, I sort of lean my hand back and I shoosh them out of the room. All right. Oh, and tell Tiango I'm going to be busy for the next little while. Okay. All right. Come on, Task, let's go. Hmm. As you guys exit out, you see Remy currently sitting at one of the tables just beat to shit. Oh, Remy, seems you've met Tiango. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, yes, he did indeed. He's, you can see him breathing and very focused. Just focusing on the breathing? Yes. Bork, Bork is he going to make it? Well, I gave him a potion, and I mean, he fought just Tiango, one. so... Yes, just one, because... I'm not made of potions. It's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> bleed up a little bit of blood like <laughs> Taz puts down one of his potions in front of him say that we're going back to the tavern I'll take a nap exactly as you know sleep heals most wounds I thought that was time Borky that's what happens when you're sleeping time moves what, on what did you find out about <laughs> that's still under progress but we, do, but we do have a name <sighs> yeah, where What's is the name where, Joza Mur, uh, Murred. And they are? <coughs> we thought you might know. They're one of the councilmen. Uh, one of the councilmen? <coughs> Who do they represent? Almond. The Almond clergy. Why? You'll see Remy's eyes light up. Wait. 
Is it the Almond oh, clergy no. like anti demon stuff? Wait, yes, not only are they anti demon stuff, they also like to set up in libraries and schools based on what I know, which would explain the books. Where is Remy? Panic? Remy, so uh, Remy, you're no Remy. Remy, you just went one round with Tiango. You need to stay off your feet. I could have give, a... give him a few, give him a few minutes. He's gathering more information. Okay, where's Panic? Right. By the way, where... I... he's task gathering look, information. Ta task looks over at Borky and just gives him a stink eye. Uh, gathering information. I'm looking for clues. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Jinkies. Well, why aren't you? Well, hold on. Well, why aren't you helping him? Uh. We'd be effectively useless at this investigation. Great, he's. Yes, no, I have a higher. Else. Uh, I have a higher investigation score. <laughs> God, My God, he's trying to break out. We gotta save him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, panic. That's not All where right. you find. We don't need to clues. focus on me right now. I don't think. <laughs> well, we're gonna jump some time. All right. Uh, uh, can I, about... can I, before he comes out, can I say something to Tiango well, while he's reading? You, mm, if you, yeah, if you want to oh. go and poke that lion, sure. Greckles will physically restrain him. Yeah. I don't have a lot of fight to move, so that's going to work. <laughs> I just, he should. Remy, <clears throat> Remy, swallow your pride right now. No, I know the book he's reading. <clears throat> uh. Tiango! <laughs> oh boy. You watch Tiango lifts up his glasses and like looks up towards you. <laughs> he's, got, he's, he's got reading glasses. Got reading glasses. <laughs> it's a good one. Hopefully you haven't gotten to the pod with a tiefling yet. <clears throat> he just look, gives you this look. Just like kind of <laughs> calculating. <laughs> you see the mathematics. That, uh, that Jackie Chan face just like... <laughs> goes right back to reading. Notably, there is no tiefling anywhere on the cover, so... Mm. The hell are you, you going... giving him a spoiler. He's gonna kill you harder what now. What the hell are you doing, Bosco? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing right now? Because I'm scared. Are you going to tell him that Snape kills Dumbledore as well? What the fuck? <laughs> so, a while passes. Mm -hmm. How long's a while? Uh, like, like maybe like 45 minutes to an hour passes. Oh, boy. Whew! Um, My God. Panic. He's a uh, 60 minute man. Oh Jesus. my god, he has sex 15 times in one hour. <laughs> um, as you gather your things, you learn through every man that he made the deal with Brook Bronzefang. I fucking. What the fuck? The deal wow. is there are two conditions to the deal. So. One, Tiango cannot kill anybody on the surface who is, like, a civilian. It's, like, innocent. He can't kill anybody innocent. Two, they cannot make tickets that lead to any of the districts. Uh, at all. Mm. And they have to shut down anybody who tries. That's actually pretty fair. Yeah. The trade-off... Is that the guards cannot go into the sewers. Mm. And the guards cannot get involved in any of Avryman's business. Unless it involves civilians. All right. What's crazy is this is very similar to like a 1930s style deal the police would have with the mob. Yeah. That it's, it's, it's almost super... exactly. This is San Francisco as fuck. Yeah. No, that's but why, this the is fact really cool. that it's. The fact that it's Brork who follows Avon, who is the god of justice, Oof. has some serious connotations to Just, it. Justice and the law are, two, wow. are not mutually exclusive. It's true. It's you Avon. know that if this information reached Irma or anyone, it could fucking destroy him. Isn't it already known that there is some kind of deal in place or that something's going on because they don't show up? No one knows who set the deal, though, so oh, it's a mystery. It. But now you know that it's Brook who set the deal. Well, Panic knows. Well, Panic knows. All right, well... Uh, uh, we haven't been told this yet, though, Is, of is that all I learn? That's all you get for that, yeah. 
tell you okay, <laughs> for that. No, oh, wow. <laughs> Next time, uh, put some effort so... in. You know what I mean? I was kind of phoning it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's literally the fucking scene from uh, from Liar Liar. I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> the pan is blue. Um. <laughs> so, uh, so all right. So about Meryl's about Meryl's situation. Um, didn't learn much more than there was a man named Joseph Mirad that works for uh, the representative of the almond clergy. He was and... at, as you as you kind of post clarity, whatever, I don't give a shit. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, yes, the, the post nut insight. <laughs> It's called the. It's, like, it's, 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 it's where everything, everything that got you to that point, you're like, what the fuck happened? God damn it! I hate being human. Um, the prophecy is fulfilled. You, you realize that that man was at your guys's trial. Specifically, you met him in the trial. He is a wood elf. He was Wait. So he he doesn't he doesn't work. He doesn't. He doesn't work for the council. He is on he the council. Is on, Joseph Murad. He is on the council, and he represents the Almon clergy. He's oh, the no. leader of the Almon. Okay, I'm. I misheard oh. you. I misheard you earlier. Yeah. I thought, oh, I God, thought he was so bad. He worked for. I thought he worked for the representative oh, no. of the Almond clergy. Never the, mind. the person who I'm gave the wine worked for him. Who gave every man the wine? But the, the symbol on the wine that seller was his. Let's all remember that gotcha. this doesn't mean he was harboring anyone. It was convenient space no but it means that they they're oh god it means that they're rep oh that's so smart um no roll a knowledge arcana with advantage <laughs> who uh panic. me panic. I'm i was gonna say panic, panic. i'm not there it's that um, insight you were talking about. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the prophecy uh, is fulfilled <laughs> uh arcana <laughs> check with advantage no! Wow! So oh, hey, that inside. The prophecy is fulfilled. <laughs> well done, brother. Uh, it's, like on, it's like on Hades, Connor. You just checked off an insight. You're getting all this darkness. My God, Panic Grimtongue could not click cancel on that web browser fast enough after it was all over. <laughs> <laughs> the fact, the fact that, and this is the only reason you know this is because you've used Dimension Door. The fact that Stendin teleported into this cellar without taking force damage implies that he knows the seller very well. Yep. Ooh. Fuck. Yeah. A natural 20. Jesus. I heard Zito. that. <laughs> Shut up! I, listen! I have said nothing all this campaign! Fuck you! Zito, you've said a lot he of gets, things this he, campaign. He gets you a said... freebie. He gets a freebie for holding his tongue. <laughs> Guys, we're in the triple Seriously, digits now. It's all over. Yep, yep that's a nut oh 20, all right. All right. Well, that, uh, hmm. Panic walks out of Averyman's office and sort of adjusts his coat, wipes his mouth, uh, <laughs> checks his neck. You're not bitten. You're fine. Hickeys. Check out hickeys. I don't know that. Oh, well, there, right over my head. I, it wouldn't it work anyways. Um, yeah, you, you, have, you have ebony skin anyways. It's really hard to tell. It could be more Some purple freaks. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, is, 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 <clears throat> panic, right. is panic left? Because I got something I want to say to him the second he walks out of that room. Yeah, I I, I oh. step out having learned all I need to. Uh, panic your flies down. <laughs> <laughs> With precedent to mage hand. I, I, I smack <laughs> him on the shoulder. Thank you. <laughs> so what happened in there? <clears throat> I learned information. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, why don't you tell I'll us tell what we, we want? Why, why don't you tell us what we leave? Because Tiago keeps eyeballing I, you right now. Uh, <clears throat> probably a good idea. <clears throat> uh, so should we leave? Yeah, you guys set out. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to cast detect <clears throat> magic while we're. But while we're heading back up, it just I don't I don't want anybody scrying on us while we're while I'm filling them in. I was basically. about to say I don't think you caught anything, buddy. <laughs> As you cast detect magic, you detect no magic. Okay. You you, you catch you do catch a gelatinous cube, which you guys sidestep and keep going. 
<laughs> mm, uh, I will keep cube, that up for the full hour duration. The cube is usually on the fourth floor. So I'll I'll basically just give them the gist that uh, the wine belongs to Joza Murad. Uh, she 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 told me where he was as well, right? Uh, well, I mean, they don't know that much about Joza. You'd have to. I'm assuming. Like. I'm assuming a, a representative of the council would be in the upper district, so... High district, upper district, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and I learned... Oh, man, do I want to keep that to myself, actually? Actually, no. while you're going over this, Remy's going to chime in. Panic, if I may make a suggestion. Oh, what the fuck? What happened to you? Well, I mean, like... All right. You see, what happened is you, 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 you got a... Uh, you got um. Well, you got you got you got fucked by every man. He got um. You got he got fucked up by Tiago. Don't tell him that. <laughs> anyway, listen. Based on what you've revealed so far about this council member, I assume there's more, even <coughs> further damaging information. Yes. Yeah. So keep this in mind, <laughs> especially considering who we're dealing with. Anything you tell us can be potentially taken from our minds. The fewer people know dangerous information, potentially the better. I happen to trust you. <coughs> so, if you believe there's anything we shouldn't know for that reason, please don't say it. <coughs> Look at Forky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm basically look at us in descending order of wisdom scores. Borky, Borky is literally just playing uh, like much music's top twenty in his head right now on loop. <laughs> I have a wisdom score of fourteen. So do 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 do. Very well, and Panic does not tell them about Bork. Good, all right. good. Uh, all right. You guys <clears throat> find your way to the Scarble Hole. Make your way up into the tavern. At this point, it's like between the travel time and <laughs> um, it's about like one o'clock in the afternoon at this point. Cool. So you guys make your way up through the scarble hole. You push up a piece of the flooring and emerge immediately. Like, uh, like uh, Louis struggle with the war pick immediately whips it out, but he notices it's you guys. Oh, we saw she sauce. Clear out, clear out. Hello. Everyone, everyone moves out of the way as you guys make your way inside. Uh, a fire has been set just to warm the place up. It is kind of crisp autumn. Mm. Um, it looks like generally people are just kind of hanging out, playing cards and dice and shit, and just kind of chilling. Is Willow still working? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, she is. Willow. I'll, oh, I'll healing gosh. word. Are you okay? I'm, yes, Remy. I'm fine. No, no, his, 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 his pride was a bit in. It was a bit. No, uh, we have to work. Well, I, Willow, there's something you need to look at. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You go for Sit seven, Remy. Okay. So that's a seven? Yeah. So add seven to my already minuscule score. Good, I can feel my ribs starting to move back into place. Yeah, you feel like you haven't been smashed to shit. Yeah, with I was about to say, like, we, we, I think we need you without a collapsed lung right at this point. Yeah. Yes. It's still hard to breathe, but, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake, cure wounds. No. <laughs> you fucking child. At second level. So 2d8 plus my spell casting ability. 2d8 plus 6. So roll it. A 6. One. Oh, plus Come 2. On. Right. Sorry. So 7. Okay. That, um... All right, cool. I can breathe a little better. Uh, Willow, we've we found something you should take a look at. Uh, okay. Um, panic was, <clears throat> and colleagues were able to figure out. Uh, apparently, the wine came from uh, someone in the Almond clergy. Almond clergy. Specific, specifically, belonged to fuck. Where am I? Joseph Murad. She's gonna do a knowledge history. Mm. Hmm. He's a member of the council, specifically the spokesperson for the Almond clergy. He's very powerful here. Do do we all remember that he was at the trial? I would say at this point, when Willow kind of describes him, you all remember him being in the yeah. trial. Yeah. Did he speak uh, at all? Yeah. Did he speak at all during that trial? What was his demeanor? 
his demeanor was being very thorough okay. and very like almost to a point of just like a frustration being very kind of like you know, prying like very like one of the specifics he's a very well actually person okay yeah kind of um but oh, more, more erring on the side of like i'm not being a you know not an arrogant prick but more like i want to know every facet of this before i come to a conclusion like very scientific mm. willow if you willow if you'll recall he was at the trial when we were forced to testify i wasn't at the trial were you not no oh my no helena was there well, helena was at the trial. Uh, yeah. yes helena and peg is a little sad at that She's okay. Do you happen to know anyone in the <coughs> almond clergy, Willow? Uh, not mostly Narasman, unfortunately. Um, well, we know someone who might. Where's Hosrod at? Wait a uh, second. Hos Hosrod oh. is currently like winning money from Kiwi using dice. What is it? What is it, Remy? I believe uh, someone with Hazra Sahar was a almond follower. I remember call uh what is his name oh yeah that's right uh ragu or something like that human rahu yeah rahu was uh he was a, a short human person beard accompanied accompanied to uh, azra sahar yes uh one of her charges i would assume um <clears throat> although i haven't seen azra since i last saw solly and we have no idea what state they're in right now. Yes, but it seems uh, this is all coming together because everyone we need to speak with is in the high district, and lo and behold, I can't get us in there. I'm going to go talk with Hasrod. Sure. Hey, Hasrod. What? He watches. He's just like pulling in money from Kiwi. He was like, that was my whole salary. We got a name. Oh. Go on. Josa Murad, councilman, representative of the almond clergy. Know anything about him? Oh, how interesting. Hmm. I have not met him personally, but from my knowledge, he's a little bit of a hermit. Fair. Mm. Would certainly make a good cover for someone. A hermit who has a sort of a affinity with wine making in his fucking basement. Uh, that's most nobles, to be honest with you. No offense. He turns and looks towards you, Remy. Piss off. <laughs> I'm gonna get a traffic about a bit. Anyway. Do something exciting? Be still, my beating snake heart. Hasrod, we know for a fact that wherever they are, they're within 500 feet of wherever Joseph's home is or wherever his wine cellar is. Well, maybe not. I want to specify again. He could have moved Meryl in that time. She was under a suggestion spell, so her memory could be altered as well. Well, we only got so much to work with, so... Yeah, if you'll all excuse me, I'm going to go see your new clerk. <clears throat> Need help, Remy? You okay? Yeah, I head hurts. Family guy uh, falls. Remy, Remy's gonna go find uh, the guy we just hired. Uh, Which, which one? Oh my god, no the 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 guy. Enceladus. Yes, him. Uh, Enceladus. Okay, yeah, he's yeah. the researcher. He's actually with with Willow at the moment. Oh, is he? Oh, okay, cool. So oh, right there. oh, I pass Enceladus yeah. the vial. Uh oh. Ooh, he kind of looks at it like at first he's like, ooh, shiny bottle, then ooh, scary contents. That's sir. It wasn't. Well, hold on. Let me. That was drow it. poison. Yeah, that's drow poison. I'd like you to look in the means of reproducing it. Uh, I will have to procure some books about the underdark, but we can worry about this later. We might have we might have a person to help you with that. Certainly. You know... uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Continue. No, no, no. Absolutely. Uh... <laughs> sorry. Enceladus right. looks at you, Remy, and just kind of like pockets the bottle. Uh, I, I was curious if you know anything about the almond clergy. Um, I do have a little bit of knowledge to it, but I don't know much about uh, Dra. He's kind of out of side of my reach, really. Um, I'm sort of like Willow. I more fall into the Nerasmin level of things, though my anthropological studies do fall into the almond research. 
Um, generally, uh, not really much to say about the man. He, he can be rather haughty to be a nobleman of sorts, very knowledgeable, um, very resourceful as well. He has um, many, many resources. Hmm. Uh, here's my concern. <clears throat> Even if we were to reach out for an audience, we wouldn't <clears throat> get access in time. And if for some reason he or someone working for him catches wind of it, if they are working for said Arcanaloth, we would be <clears throat> instantly made. So my question to all of you is, how do we investigate further without tipping them off? You begin to hear a sound on the roof. What in the God's name is that? It I starts will... off kind of like clicking and then it becomes thuds. Is someone on the Volo? Oh. I'll go Are check you it out. on the roof? But yeah, let's go outside. Oh. Yeah, we're going outside, climbing yep. the roof. You see a shitload of pigeons. Oh, oh boy. boy. Here we go, I knew it. Da -da 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 All right, Taylor, where are you? Oh, hey, you watch this just sticking out of, like, their head out of this giant pile of pigeons. You guys just kind of ran off. Get inside night. now. Okay. <laughs> they just, like, <laughs> like, oh, shit, all right. Everyone, get in here. Get in here. Panic, can you check the mirror once again? Thank you. I will go ahead and check the mirror. Okay. Uh, detect magic again, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, dormant, yeah. dormant divination. Beyond that, nothing. Will I know when they're trying to contact us? It's very vibrant, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Uh, Taylor walks in, feathers kind of following them in their wake. You watch as uh, Taylor actually reaches into, like, inside of their jacket, and they pull out a snake. Uh, that's right, one of yours. They look over and goes, Leslie! Seriously! <laughs> You watch her as he walks. Yeah, Leslie. Fucking Leslie. <laughs> fucking fucking Leslie. <laughs> Stupid ass hog nose. Who Wait. else but Leslie? Oh, man. Wesley. Story of this campaign, right? Yeah. Fucking Leslie. Yeah, Wesley. you gotta love him. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? They were gonna be a, uh, a different snake by like hog nose. Uh, you watch as Hosford comes over and picks up the snake, and Taylor kind of turns and goes, yeah, It's been some time since you called a favor to me, Hostrad. Yeah, well, I've been lonely. I, Listen, you guys, oh. we're in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> yes, well, you've already helped with that once. Thank you for that, by the way. Anytime. Greckles I and I owe you. you. I owe you guys. Well, then perhaps you can help us with a situation we're having. Mm-hmm. Um, our friend... Hannah... I'm going to say you relay everything. Yes. yes. Yeah, go ahead. So you... Let... you... You smack them with the with the dowel. They're not a demon. Um, yeah. And you sit down and you start to relay all this information. All right. Every, every and he on says, the "Hit him once." <laughs> every there's no pigeon. Every pigeon. pigeon. On the roof, every, right? every pigeon. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Taylor says this is a little bit outside of my depth, but you guys did get me information on my brother, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Taylor turns towards the rest of you. I saw you get arrested and... Yeah, it's kind of what kicked off what's currently going on, so... Yeah. He watches squids. Taylor kind of scratches the back of their neck. I can't help but feel guilty. I haven't really known what to say all this time, but... If you guys need to get into the higher district... I have something that could help. How You're not going to turn us into pigeons again, are you? No. Oh, you, that was he, turn, he turns to Hostrad. You're going to have to be the prince again. And Hostrad just, you watch as Hostrad looks again? like he's just a lemon and just kind of sucks his face. Wait, he slips what, on a wait, 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 yeah, what do you yeah, mean the prince what again? Do you, what do you mean the prince? What? what? You had to, check. Did you yeah. have to use the P word, Taylor? Can we, yeah, the can P I, word? I, I need the insight like inside. yesterday. Cho, cho tomate a minute. So 2022? 20, 20, are you, you inciting Hostrad? B both? Because I'm confused because they keep going back and forth. Taylor's hard to read. Hostrad is definitely responsive to that. Okay, so what the hell's going on? Yeah, 22. 24. 9. 
Ugh. Hotrod rolls his eyes. Bow down, peasants! You stand before Prince Hasrad of the Tatalon Quetzal Queen Temple. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do an I would like to do another insight to see if he's serious. I would yeah. like to as well because Remy is laughing so Bork hard right Borky now. Twenty one. Twenty nine. Hasrod, I mean, uh, Task folds his arms. Hasrod, your magic has spoken volumes, but I'm not going to do that. You understand my stance on nobles. I just, I'm just, it was a joke, Task. Come on. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, he's serious. He's fucking serious. Oh, I caught him. Yes. What's your stance on nobles? That, dude, I literally, I said that so he would gauge his answer. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That, no, that was well played. Yeah, no, but and then when yes. he said that, I'm Sorry. just like, all right, he's serious. But yes, if you must know, my sister. You <laughs> guys just kind of like <laughs> throws up a mouse. <laughs> She's the current. What the fuck did I miss? Queen of our, I guess you'd call it a religion. Most people would call it a cult. Whatever. Eh, it's really about size but at that point. Me and my brother were princes in line for the throne, I guess, but my sister's older, so she got the seat. So yes, by technicality, I am snake royalty. Oh, well, my liege, I had no idea. Fuck off, chicken. Stop that. <laughs> you're adorable when you're angry. So, <laughs> so uh, where, 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 I don't know if I've rolled this in the past or not. What can I, what? Can I gleam off of Yuan Ti culture? Uh, roll a history check. Oh my god, he's a I am not trained in that. I forgot. I, can I also roll a history save. check? Cause... Sure. Okay, this is I'm not... a really hard save, by the way. Oh god. Like a I heard all no. the air quotes Hoss Ride was throwing up Eight? there, too. No. I mean, you guys know that generally Yuan Ti are very, like, they're very close knitted. They're a little. They're extremely xenophobic, mm. um, usually. Um, so, not the most friendly. Like if you if you walk into a bunch of you on teeth, they'd kill you and sacrifice you if they're gonna meet you. So Hasrod's kind of a refreshing change of pace. Uh, 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 Sir Hasrod, <clears throat> question for you. Very yeah. serious question. Um, if if you were to assume the throne, would um, that make you a king cobra? <laughs> Oh, 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 you're so funny. You're really funny. So what does that mean for you in a political standpoint in Alavast? Can we not talk about politics right Can now? We, no, that, Let me put it this on, way, Hasrod. Could you get what? us into the high district? What do you, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? I mean, can you, using your lineage, get us into the high district? Huh. You watch as Hasrod, like, puts, puts his hand on his snake You didn't think of this chin. before?! What? I just, I, look, I'll be perfectly honest with you. My family, 10,000 foot pole. Like. Listen, Hossrod, we just, we need you to help us. We can use this to our advantage. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for the kid. That's We're fine. doing it for us. Nepotism, you've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's a yes. He kind of looks to all of you. Hey, you schmucks! He turns over to the rest of the Sweet Dragon employees. I need paper mache and glue. We're gonna snake these boys. What? Oh, you huh? Well, I'm a king, right? A king needs a proper entourage, especially a Yon T king. <laughs> hey, what? Um, well... Hmm... I think we could help you. I know a thing or two about this particular subject. Wait, are we turning? I'm turning into snakes because I can. Hmm. I think we're gonna take the guise of them panic. Or I'm, we're gonna yeah. be some I giant. I really want Hasrod to just go. Hang on to your turban, kid. We're gonna make you a star. <laughs> what are you we waiting for? Let's get to work. You heard him. Let's... Paper mache. Glue. Let's go. And for the rest of the night, between all of your employees and yourselves, you guys begin to make paper mache snake masks to create a disguise to sneak into the high district. I mean, oh, mm. uh, interesting. Unless you don't want to do that. I, you no, different... that is absolutely, yes. I mean, 
I I do point out that I can make us all magically look like snakes. Oh, yeah, that's easier. That is you watch as Kiwi has made the perfect snake head, like almost like Leonardo da Vinci levels. And you're like, wait, I can turn us the snakes with magic. And Kiwi goes, oh. Pass <laughs> puts it on his head. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Eugloss can see through illusion, so something physical may not be a bad idea. Yeah, but we're not getting through Eugloss. We're trying to get through the guards, right? Yeah, but the guards might be Eugloss, Hasra. Yeah, you got a good point there. All right, here's Let's the thing. Put it this here's way. the we thing. They, they, whatever they are, they're totally expecting magic. They won't be expecting paper mache. Let's put or it this way: in order for them to stop us, they would have to expose themselves. And also, here's another thing: if we, if if we do have the magic put on us, just have the magic put on us to look like our paper mache form. So if they drop the magic, we still look the same. Tell you what, I will. I will have the spell prepared, and if things go wrong, I can default. Let's put it this way. Let's just say that we're celebrating, and if he needs proof, we'll take off our so-called costumes, and we'll still be snakes. Still need, a, still need an excuse why Hoshride would need to go to the Armon clergy. <sighs> well, <sighs> is that specifically where we want to go? Well, based mm -hmm. on what you said, well, based on what you said, it sounds abusive. like we have to go there. We just had to get through the front gate. Then after that, hmm. once we're through the front gate, we can do whatever we need to. Yeah, we don't have to tell them where we're going. We just have to get right. in. But we are going to have to be careful of other scrying spells. I would the agree. Other th the other thing I got is if someone tries to stop us, and they really are them. I got secrets. Will you hold on to those? Just be careful. They can read minds. Yep. I I can take care of any scrying that, that takes place anywhere around us anyway. We, Wait, should guys. Take, we should also take K with us. I was about to say. Uh, yes. You watch as K just kind of sits up from reading their spell. K, book. we're going to be escorting a prince to the high district. Uh, sorry, a king, my liege. Thank you. You watch as Kay just kind of looks over towards Hasrod, back to you, back to Hasrod. Look, it's a long story. Just trust us. It's legitimate. It'd be simpler <laughs> to say if we're just doing crimes. Remy, it would just be simpler if we said we're doing crimes. We're not <laughs> doing that? a crime! <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing is actually very legal. What is that? Two, three kings we've had in our midst? I mean, like, I mean, based on what Hasrod was doing that, that with, the, with the air quotes, I'm assuming it's not that big of a deal for Hasrod. Hmm. I mean, not to me, but you humans and human like tend to obsess over that shit, so. Eh. 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 eh the, warm bloods, the warm bloods like their lineage. Listen, before we retire with this wonderful plan in tow, let's at least have a strategy. Once we get in, because we will get in, where are we going? Because there's a lot of options. We, we can going. contact Solly, Brooke. We can go directly to the clergy, but we need a plan, and preferably all together. Naragan kind of pipes up. If you would like my advice, I have a recommendation. I'd love to that? hear it. The purest of Illinay worshippers cannot shape change. Nor can they lie in truth. Our temple is out of clarity. Illusion spells and shape changes immediately dissipate within the temple halls of Illinay. If you wanted allies in this, I would recommend going there. So how, they, would... how do they know that they would believe us, though? You said you were friends with Solly. Cousin Solly, correct? Yes, yes correct. we are. Yes. I don't see why they wouldn't help you if you're not yeah. working for her. Besides, because they're all up there. I'm, I'm going to assume they have abilities to tell of people. Or telling the truth or not, what with them being Illuné. By, by the way, do we have any information that tells us that Solly knows that all of this is going on, or do you think she's still in the dark on this? I would hazard to guess she's still in the dark. They're probably keeping most of the High District in the dark, which is why you they don't it. want I, us I, there. I Willow kind of looks at him and goes, might be best if she doesn't know either. Don't want her to get her wrapped up in this. Also keep in mind, if we drag anyone into this, they're now going to be targeted. Yep. That's a big That's thing true. too. I, I would recommend. All right. I, I would recommend anyone that we absolutely need. We could take to the Ilanid Temple. That was a phenomenal idea. But other than that, we should focus on the clergy. That's our lead. 
Naraga, mm-hmm. do you believe you have anyone that we should talk to specifically that you know in there? Yes, of course. I would talk to High Priestess Siania Arakane. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Wait, I'm gonna need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, one yes, I, I, I. One second. Oh. I, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom really badly. Sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. One more time, Auntie. S I O N I A. Last name. O R I K I A N. I like, I like how you started like questioning it at the end. Like good, good. Like I think it's an I <laughs> A A. <laughs> but from now on, toes. that's how, from now on, that's how you spell out names. All right. Okay. So, well, just, just Sionia Orikion. Orikion, yeah. All right, Orikion, right. sister Orikion. She is a moon elf. Moon elf. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. So you, I'm not used to having all these different you kinds of elves. You guys actually met her once when you were visiting Solly. She was talking with Solly. She's yep, actually gotcha. like kind of Solly's caretaker for a better word. Um, she's kind of might... like the landlord who lets her stay there. If I could make one, if I could make one suggestion, uh, we already know <clears throat> Doros is somehow implicated in this. If we can find him while we're in the High District and get him to the temple, we'll know for sure. I'd be worried about going too far out of our way to do that, though. I'm just saying we should keep an eye out, even if we can just tap him to know for sure. All right. I'd at least like to do it for Willow. And he'll look at Willow, who's been working very hard for them this entire she looks, time. She looks so tired, but she's still going. Willow. And I looks over to him and goes, pass me that tome over there. Thank you. Willow. Yes. At some point, please sleep. Sure. Your productivity is going to diminish the longer you do this to yourself, please. Time is of the essence, Remy. I can sleep later. <sighs> All right, the more, I trust t- you. the more tired you get, Will, the easier it is to make mistakes. At least, uh, what was the, uh, the the other guy's name? I keep forgetting it. Uh, Enceladus. Enceladus. Do you have yes. anything that could help with her groggy condition? I have some tea. Uh, okay, I was hoping for something more magical and uh, sure, caffeine will work. Uh, Ty, and you watch this, Ty Borbington's like, oh, I'm already on it! I was about to say, just put coffee in all of her meal. That being said, I would recommend we at least rest, or at least I need to. Hmm. Agreed. Honestly, going in at the night time, Willow kind of looks up. Going in at night might be the smartest decision. A little less conspicuous, really. So let's take a nap and relax now, and we'll meet up uh, as soon as the sun goes down and plan our next move. Because tonight, well, we're going deep into this mystery. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I was like, well, I was like, <laughs> one uh, one liner. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm usually so, I'm holding on to this one. I'm, I'm yeah. usually you're on point with the one liners. I know, Bonky. I know, dude. I'm sick as fuck right now. Can you tell? That's all right. You're good. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, you sound pretty good. I'm sounding okay, but I feel like shit. Right. So oh, that I'll being said, I, Remy is because... going to bed and change his armor with Louis Strog, by the way. Yeah, Louis, you give Louis Strog's armor back and it's like broken and like destroyed. <laughs> and he goes, um, Thanks. <laughs> I, listen, he watches. He, he's holding it like part of the chain shirt just falls to the ground. Uh, listen, send that, <laughs> uh, send that to the high district. My brother's a blacksmith. He can help you. We fix have a blacksmith, on... Remy. The, right, they have a. But you should get. Yeah, you should do it here. Yeah, that's fine. It gives it character. I guess. <laughs> can I insight this dude. Why does that hurt fuck? so much? <laughs> Go ahead. God, 22! Depressed individual. This is a sad, this is a sad person. I, I felt I don't get anything beyond it, just a sad person. He's really sad. This show is very simple. Okay, I'm gonna... He's also... Prove that he wishes not to be. He seems very sad, (laughs) you're not sure why. Uh, for what it's worth, your armor saved my life. Oh, that's uh, great. That's, that's great. I'm happy for you. Oh, he's the, we have the best strong sad ever. It must be nice to be technically alive. Oh. <laughs> Rem, Remy is... Add a, add a character. It must be nice to have a life you care about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 this man 
sucks. This, this man sucks oh. so much at party. Why? Who invited him to Thanksgiving dinner? God damn Remy's it. This gonna, man Remy's is just... Gonna, did Remy's you guys gonna... forget about the beach? Re no, I haven't, because I was the only one that brought weapons! Um, I'm going to pat Lewis Strog on the back and head upstairs to bed. All right. Well, you guys are sleeping in the middle. No Sorry, I'm going to pass the fuck. I'm going to take off my normal armor and pass the fuck out. Yeah, you just pass out. <sighs> the rest of you guys begin to gather yourselves, take a long rest again to write off any spells. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> and as you guys <laughs> prepare to come up with a ploy to get into the high district... That is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Bye, Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. So much intrigue. By the way, by the way, you do not have to go with the snake plan. You have anything you guys want to fucking try I like out. the snake no, plan. No, I like though. the snake I, plan. Listen, that's probably the easiest way to get in there. It adds an arrow of legitimacy to it. One, 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 boy. Also, now I get to tease Hasrod incessantly. We're, we're royal buddies. Is this episode 111? That episode yeah. was so... 111. Remy makes a noble friend. Aww. Uh, well, I'm, now I have two, because okay. I also have Willow. Now, everybody who is asking for the episode to be called Post Nut Clarity, it will not be called that. <laughs> wait, not wait. Not 20 but it will also not be called Nut 20, even though it should be. Question. I, I have one. Sweet dreams are made of this. That's good. Mm, not bad. Uh, mm. also, people also said blood and mm. wine. I just, I just kind of like sweet dreams. I like sweet... Mm. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Uh, I traveled the world and got Wait, an that FT. Mean Tiago Whoa. Killed, uh, doesn't that mean Tiago just fucking killed uh, Kay's familiar? What? Oh, no, I have so that. Oh, no, it's dead. Is Holy it? Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> it was in your armor. It's uh. fucking Dead. Oh well, no! Uh, oh, whatever. Well, whatever. It's just a. It's just a familiar. She can fucking spend fifty gold and get it back. She'll have to borrow some from Willow. It's, it'll be a fun. Oh. It'll be a fun role play segment next episode. Wow, there's a lot of people. Good I wanna... job, Remy. You killed her pet. Uh, I know. I was. Think about I, was that. I thought it was. It would like fly off and not be on me while I fought. Before you guys, I was before, trying to take it. Before any of us head out here, by I want to thank two particular way, people. Oh, real fast. Okay. Oh, I just, I just, I just want to say real fast because we're talking about the bat. The bat's name is Tango. I just want to point that out. Are you oh. shitting me? Yeah. Tango. Oh, sorry, his name is Tango, Tango the orange bat. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, the orange splats. Uh, Luca, it's fine. It'll just, it's going to come back later. It's fine. Uh, Luke a lot with 10,000 right, bits right. here. Welp, a bet's a bet. Poor Remy, 10,000 bits. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Luke a lot with 10,000 bits. Probate with 10,000 bits as well. So when can Panic expect the news of his new child? Uh, oh. Can, we, can I say it? Is that spoilers? Yes. I don't. Uh, I mean, it's. It's, a, it's not really. It's has it has really it come up in to, game? I think it's come up. You in game. you have, you have said it in the past. Yeah. Uh, every man cannot get pregnant. Yeah. So if anyone's just like a baby, Damn. there is none. Wait, yeah. wait. How do Woo! I get for a knock? <laughs> she can't Pregnant. get Greg. Okay. She can't get Gregnant. Is no, she is she a guys, Luigi board? Is she a Ouija board? Guys, a Luigi board? I has a baby. How do I mind? I have the confessions to make. <laughs> I'm also, pregnant. can I point something out real quick? <laughs> How come every time fucking Panic gets laid, I get my ass kicked? It's like, it's like he a balance. He gets laid by Zeus, I'm getting beat up by the UOC. Uh, he balanced. gets laid by every man and Tango's beat my ass. <laughs> fucking stop having <laughs> sex! It's like, well, it's like it's, it rhymes, it's like poetry. Banged, then he'll get punched. Stop it! Yeah, if I ever have sex, Panic is just gonna straight up fucking die. Oh, well, thank God. Serenade of Eclipse. A yeah, you're safe. You're fucking safe. <laughs> Serenade of Eclipse safe. with a thousand bits. Perchance to scream as an episode title idea name. <laughs> Alexander Wallace with 1,500 bits. Thank you so much as well. A lot of people dropping bits. Please, boss, go round us out here. And we'll do. Well, oh yeah. All right, uh, Connor. Where can they find you? <laughs> they can find me on Twitter at Cnell Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. Well, tomorrow is probably going to be uh, some Monster Hunter. Uh, I, I, I I need to make my my Odegaron gun and uh, some stuff. Uh, so Friday is Friday Funhouse where we have a lot of fun and we play Jackbox, Party Pack, Gang Beasts, uh, Tabletop Simulator, all kinds of fun games. Saturday, uh, we still need to decide what i am playing on saturday because we are finished with the witcher after 
after nearly a year uh, playing it every Saturday. Uh, if you would like to vote for what I play next, you can go to this link on that straw poll. We currently have 900 votes. Uh, currently, oh, Devil May Cry is currently Devil May Cry is in the lead, but you can always change that. that. Uh, and then Sunday will be D and D homebrew. Zito, where can they find you? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. You can find me on Twitter at CZ Backlash. And you can also find my Patreon for homebrew shit at the Ever Ingot Almanac. Uh, I will post it in chat. Uh, I prob latest, latest I'll be able to play any video games will be Friday, earliest Thursday, depending on what's going on at TFS at the table. Uh, not TFS at the table. What's going on at TFS. Uh... Nothing I can talk to uh, talk about on the horizon outside of my homebrew, but uh, I'm planning on playing Temtem on stream. I backed the shit out of that game, and I'm going to go ahead and play it maybe on Friday. Uh, but for my tabletop stuff, uh, not this upcoming Saturday, but the next Saturday, the throw, which are basically a race of, like, cloth golems, that's going out on DM's Guild on the 1st of February. But if you join the Patreon, you can get the finished copy right now. Very nice, very nice. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, every Monday, we do a Mecha Monday. I grab me a Eastern or Western Mech game. Have a lot of fun with that. Tuesday, every day, every Tuesday, Taiko Tuesday. Play Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, lots of punishment songs. It's a good time. Lots of heckling. Saturday and Sunday, it's kind of up in the air. At the moment, it's probably just going to be more Monster Hunter because I'm getting really sucked into it. My monster rank is relatively high. Uh, also, you can find all of my real work over on YouTube. Just got done with a video breaking down the cultural inspiration behind the Zenogre. So that's been a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's me. Very nice, very nice. And uh, our illustrious DM, Monty, where can they find you when you're not beating the shit out of me? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where you'll see me posting many things. I also have a lot of commissions that I'm coming in. They're all coming in at once in the This is what you get. I know, post Christmas, I'm like, uh oh. Um, but you can also find me posting there. I might post some pictures of my art, my Warhammer army that I'm working on, because I really want to try and get a lot of. I'm not even halfway done, and I'm already like, this is a lot. Oh um, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, and you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Montaglue. Tomorrow there might not be a stream. I'll see how I feel because I've been feeling super great. I also have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Excuse me, a lot of stuff I need to do tomorrow. Um, but Sunday, there should hopefully be a stream. Um, I'm hoping at some point to have my friend Darian over to play some Kirby Air Ride. We want to do City Trial and just goof off. So I'll keep you guys posted on my Twitter about that. Uh, I'm just kind of in weird, weird streaming limbo right now because the weather is like, no, you're not allowed to be feeling okay. <laughs> I got uh, one more quick thing that I did want to plug, if that's okay. No. Oh, yeah, okay. You can. I guess we'll go funny. Um, no. It, it's, it's been talked about for a while. I am in the process of possibly doing some DM Skilled content of my own, particularly uh, Yokai oh, 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 stuff, oh. as well as, uh, you know, that, that hardcore Far Eastern uh, Japan vibe. That is in the work uh, with Zito's help. I want to do more. We've actually made a Tanuki race. I kind of want to expand on that. Uh, both monsters and playable creatures. So be on the lookout for that. It may take a little bit, though. Oh, trust me. After what you described to me, I'm just like, all right, so so what you're describing to me, all these yokai that you want to make into monsters, uh, what tier do you want them to be? One and two. All right, what about the giant skeleton thing? Explain that one to me. Oh, it can't, <laughs> it can't die, so that's tier four! <laughs> Look, I just started off with what I what first came to my head. I didn't yeah, say it was it the... Yeah, no, the first thing that uttered out of your mouth, oh, well, it can't die. How your players need to be able to kill something? We look, look, we, we we agreed, we found a workaround with that. Let's just go forward. Also, I'm sorry that I took away uh Baki Nico because that's gonna be on my next thing soon, too. That's fine, I'll make it better. Anyway, oh. you guys can also <laughs> find Takahata right here at twitch.tv slash Takahata 101, where tomorrow it is official. MNW is canceled well at least his is i'm gonna do something for you guys so that kirk can rest and he doesn't feel the pressure to do shit so yeah. uh stay tuned for those details you guys know where to check me out at ed bosco via instagram and twitter and then over on twitch.tv slash edward bosco where tomorrow we'll probably be doing some crazy wrestling stuff friday will be huge crazy wrestling shit and then come watch me scream at sports ball or you know other crazy stuff on my channel yeah that's the shindig 
We are about to get up out of here, but we got to find somebody to rain. Alex, I'm maybe we just... Alex Andos dropped another 1,500 bits with no message, just bits. Well, thank you so much, Alex Andos. Uh, Defective Sheep, thank you so much for the bits. Elena Megalodon as well. Thank you to Soul King and Tarek is Dan. Thank you so much, guys. When to go go. Alex Andos for gifting a sub to Brett Gaming as well as I can do gifting a sub to Arkov. If I failed... Uh, to thank you, please uh, hit me up on Twitter. I'll make sure to give you a proper thank you for dropping all of these subs. And or, bits. or, or, what? even better, just cut him some slack for a week because he's really sick. Yeah. Just for a week. Uh, do you want to raid Kaiser? Yeah. I was going to say, Kaiser's around, Tabby Cat's around, Octopimp's around. No, no, we're raiding, we're raiding, we're raiding Kaiser. We're raiding, we don't, uh, we do not raid Kaiser often because he's not streaming often. So everyone, go yeah. in there. Whatever you, you know, what you all go in there say he's a very nice guy because he's a good dude. No, don't tell, lie to tell him. him Dragon buff Ball Z tigers. is. No, tell him. Yeah, Dragon buff Ball tigers. I was about to say Dragon Ball Z is gene punk, but sure. <laughs> Just buff tigers. Buff tigers, and he'll be happy. Keep fit and have fun. Body break.